Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. Konoha. I upgraded sage mode to immortal cultivation technique. Chapter 61. After having lunch at Ichiraku Ramen Restaurant, Yohan came to Konoha Hospital. Yi Yu has sensed that Tsunade is in Konoha Hospital at this time. Are you looking for Tsunade-sama? I can help you heal this injury on your arm without Tsunade-sama taking any action. Although Shizune is Tsunade's direct disciple, she always calls Tsunade Tsunade-sama instead of Tsunade teacher. She said casually while checking the injuries on Yi Yu's arm. I'm not looking for Tsunade Sensei to treat the injury on my arm. I'm going to ask Tsunade Sensei for medical ninjutsu. Hearing Yi Yu's words, Shizun stopped what he was doing and looked at Yi Yu in surprise and surprise. Ha, huh, do you want to become Tsunade Sama's disciple? Then you will not be my junior brother from now on. Shizun was only 12 years old at this time. Shizun seemed very happy thinking that his classmate and the genius ninja in the village, Yi Yu, was about to become his junior brother. Um, I told you I was asking for medical ninjutsu. Yi Yu was speechless when she saw the excitement on Shizun's face. Kidding to you, Shizun joked, and then used healing jutsu to treat the injury on Yohane's arm. I saw Shizun's palms pressed against the wound on Yi Yu's arm. Soon, her palms glowed with a gleaming green light. This green light can accelerate cell division, thereby promoting self-healing of wounds. Ding, congratulations, host wound self-healing proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations, host wound self-healing proficiency plus one. Under the good stimulation of healing jutsu, the cells on Yi Yu's arm divided rapidly, and the injuries on his arm were also recovering quickly. At the same time, the system's mechanical prompt sounded in Yi Yu's mind at the right time. Sure enough, healing jutsu plus can improve self-healing ability when injured. Hearing the system prompt sound in his mind, Yi Yu felt happy. With healing jutsu he can achieve Muji self-healing through continuous beatings and treatments. Alright, after the wound on Yi Yu's arm was completely healed, Shizun stopped releasing healing jutsu seeing that you keep staring at my hand, do you want to learn healing jutsu? Yes, Yi Yu told the truth. I haven't started yet. Otherwise I can teach you this healing jutsu. Come with me, I will take you to see Tsunade-sama. After saying that, Shizun led Yi Yu towards where Tsunade was. Tsunade-sama is in here. Arriving outside a laboratory, Shizun explained to Yi Yu, and then knocked on the door. Dong dong dong. Soon, Tsunade's voice came from the room, come in. Master Tsunade, Yi Yu is looking for you. Shizun opened the door and entered looking at Tsunade who was busy and said. Yo you, didn't you and Lord Fukusaku go to Mount Myoboku to learn Senjutsu? Tsunade stopped what he was doing and looked at Yi Yu who walked in with a surprised expression. I couldn't get used to the food at Mount Myoboku, so I came back first. Yi Yu explained. That's right, Mount Myoboku is full of toads. Tsunade was stunned, and then asked Yi Yu, what do you want from me? I'm here to ask you for advice on healing jutsu. Worried that Tsunade would misunderstand, Yi Yu emphasized again, only learn healing jutsu. Only learn healing jutsu, your request is really strange. Tsunade looked at Yi Yu deeply, and then said, if you only learn healing jutsu, Shizun can teach you. Ha, huh, I'll teach, can I start teaching now? Shizun looked happy. What are you thinking about? You are still very early in the journey. Healing Jutsu is just the most basic medical ninjutsu. I allow you to teach Yi Yu healing jutsu. Tsunade gave Shizune a headache and then said, Medical ninjutsu is a very serious subject. It's about other people's lives. No carelessness is allowed. Therefore, Shizune did not dare to teach others medical ninjutsu without the permission of Tsunade, the teacher. Now with Tsunade's permission, Shizune can teach Yohan the healing jutsu. Yohane has no opinion on whether Tsunade teaches him healing jutsu or Shizun teaches him healing jutsu. He has a system, he just needs to make healing jutsu appear on the system panel. His healing jutsu can be continuously improved through liver proficiency. Yi Yu, come with me. With the authorization of Master Tsunade, Shizun pulled Yi Yu and walked towards a desk excitedly. There are scrolls here specifically for practicing healing jutsu and this fish is specially used for beginners to practice. That's how I came here. I'm here to teach you how to use it. Shizun took out a medical reel from the cabinet, 
then took out a fish and placed the fish on the reel. Time flies, and in the blink of an eye, two days have passed. Over the past two days, Yu Yu was beaten at Mount Myoboku in the morning and afternoon. At noon and evening, I went to Konoha Hospital for treatment and learned healing jutsu. At night, he ran to the ball space and used multiple shadow clone techniques with the fish he bought to increase his proficiency in healing jutsu. While receiving treatment, Yi Yu's wound self-healing proficiency continued to increase. While learning and practicing healing jutsu, his healing jutsu proficiency is improving rapidly. It's amazing. He mastered healing jutsu to this extent in just two days. He is indeed a genius ninja in Konoha. Seeing that Yi Yu released healing jutsu with his bare hands without borrowing the medical scroll, Shizun was amazed. You know, it took her more than a month to reach this point. And Yi Yu was only less than two days away. Well, you have already gotten started with healing jutsu. Next, you just need to spend time and practice a lot. Tsunade also came over and commented to Yi Yu. Lots of practice. What Yi Yu is least afraid of right now is practicing a lot. After leaving Konoha Hospital, he bought dozens of fish on the street, and then he couldn't wait to go to the first ball space. Multiple Shadow Clone Technique Yi Yu used multiple shadow clone technique to separate the same number of shadow clone as the fish. Then a shadow clone assigned a fish, and healing jutsu appeared in this initial space. Ding, congratulations, host healing jutsu proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations, host healing jutsu proficiency plus one. Healing jutsu as a continuous ninjutsu. During the period when healing jutsu continued to be released, Yi Yu's proficiency in healing jutsu was continuously improving. Dozens of shadow clone released healing jutsu together, and Yi Yu's healing jutsu proficiency exploded dozens of times. Last night, Yi Yu used multiple shadow clone techniques and had been brushing up on healing jutsu proficiency for several hours. And tonight, Yi Yu plans to maximize the proficiency of healing jutsu in one go. In this way, he would not have to go to Konoha Hospital tomorrow and could treat himself. Although Yi Yu now has no shortage of chakra, multiple shadow clone will superimpose fatigue. After several breaks, finally, under the attack of multiple shadow clone, the system prompts in Yi Yu's mind changed. Ding, congratulations, the proficiency of host healing jutsu has reached the full level. Healing jutsu has automatically upgraded to reply. Hearing the system prompt in his mind, Yi Yu was happy at first, and then stunned. Reply, why does this ability look so familiar? Yi Yu had a weird look on his face and immediately started to check the skill introduction of reply. When Yi Yu read the skill introduction, he was stunned on the spot. Grass holding grass is really the recovery skill of the so-called brave man of sticks. In the original drama, after Uzumaki Naruto gained the power of six paths, he touched Kakashi's eyes, and Kakashi's eyeballs that were taken away by Uchiha Madara grew new ones. After touching Might Guy's heart after using eight inner gates, Might Guy, whose life was about to wither, miraculously survived. Now, Yi Yu's upgraded healing jutsu can do similar things if he improves his proficiency. Reply Apart from being unable to bring the dead back to life, no matter how serious the injury is, it can be restored to you. This skill not only has the same name as Gunyang, but also has similar effects. A very powerful healing ability. I don't know if I can strengthen and degrade like Gunyang when my response proficiency is full. After Gunyang's recovery skill is upgraded, it can strengthen a certain part of the body and cause the enemy's blood vessels to burst. It's a very pervert ability. After Yi Yu secretly expected it in his heart, he released the multiple shadow clone and left the starting sphere space. The next day, Mount Myoboku, beside Toad Pond. Xiao Yeyu, your progress has been quite fast. I believe it won't be long before you can sense the natural energy. Fukasaku, who was holding a wooden stick, encouraged Yi Yu as usual. But Yi Yu was dissatisfied. Mr. Fukasaku, it's still too slow. We can speed up the progress today. With the reply skill, you can hit hard and I will reply to you in minutes. No matter how fast I go, I won't be able to take care of it anymore. Fukasaku shook his head. In order to sense the natural energy faster, Yi Yu has used multiple shadow clone technique to accelerate like Uzumaki Naruto. 
It's just that Fukusaku's energy is limited, and there are too many multiple shadow clones, and he can't take care of them. Once a shadow clone is transformed into a frog, Yiyu's body will also be transformed into a frog. Using multiple shadow clone to accelerate, the corresponding risk factor also increases. Therefore, yesterday and the day before yesterday, Yi Yu only used his body and three shadow clone to speed up his practice. Today, Yi Yu plans to use a few more shadow clone, trying to maximize the proficiency of perception of natural energy and self-healing at once. Give me the stick and I'll use shadow clone to take care of shadow clone. Yi Yu stretched out his hand and said to Fukusaku, Can you react on your own? This is very dangerous. Once a shadow clone transforms into a frog, you will be finished. Fukusaku hesitated. Don't worry, there will be no problem. Seeing Yi Yu's insistence, Fukusaku handed the wooden stick in his hand to Yi Yu. Split. After Yi Yu took the wooden stick, he immediately used the upgraded version of multiple shadow clone technique, split body. Shadow clone will dissipate immediately after being hit with a wooden stick. When all shadow clones disappear, Yi Yu will have to separate shadow clones again. This is such a waste of time. The split body is different. As long as the split body is not fatally injured, it will not dissipate. Two years ago, when he first obtained the split body, Yi Yu could only separate four split bodies at a time, and then he let these four split bodies lurk in the four major ninja villages. But now, Yi Yu's split body can separate 16 split bodies at one time. Subtracting the split bodies lurking in the four major ninja villages, Yi Yu can still separate 12. Buzz. As Yi Yu's split body was used, Yi Yu's back began to liquefy. A humanoid split body broke out from Yi Yu's back. Soon, these split bodies turned into Yi Yu's appearance. Fukusaku over there saw this scene and didn't think there was anything wrong. After all, he knew that human ninjas could perform various clone techniques. Therefore, he was not surprised. Multiple shadow clone technique. After dividing 12 clones, Yi Yu used the ordinary multiple shadow clone technique. Boo hoo hoo. Soon, two shadow clone appeared behind the 12 split bodies, including Yi Yu's body. At first, Fukusaku didn't understand why Yi Yu arranged two shadow clones behind these split bodies. But soon, he understood. I saw these shadow clone, one is responsible for beating with a wooden stick, and the other is responsible for performing reply treatment. Boom, the sound of wooden sticks hitting. Buzz. Treatment recovery sound. Immediately, he saw a scene where Yi Yu's body plus 12 split bodies were beaten and treated in turn by 26 shadow clone. At the same time, the system's mechanical beep sounded continuously in Yi Yu's mind. Ding, congratulations. Host perception of natural energy proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations. Host wound self healing proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations. Host reply proficiency plus one. Hey, this human boy is too cruel to himself. Gamabunta, who was holding a huge pipe in his mouth, couldn't help but take a heavy drag on his cigarette when he saw the scene in front of him. Just when Fukusaku next to Gamabunta was about to speak, he sensed a change in Yohane's body. I saw natural energy flowing into Yi Yu's body in a very orderly manner. Soon, Yi Yu's main body plus 12 split bodies, Sage Mode's iconic eye shadow appeared. Oh, can you already sense the energy of nature? To do this in just over two days is a step beyond Jiraiya. Fukusaku stroked his beard with a look of satisfaction plus admiration on his face. At the same time, Yi Yu and others all stopped what they were doing. As this sage mode, Yi Yu's body opened his eyes, clenched his hands into fists, and showed a strong and confident smile on his face. Yes, little Yi Yu, you have entered sage mode. How about, do you want to try the power of sage mode? Fukusaku jumped over and pointed to the huge stone toad statue on the side. Certainly, Yi Yu's fists clenched loudly. He felt that his whole body was full of strength and his condition was better than ever. Yi Yu stood up and with a slight push on his feet, his body leapt up with extremely lightness. Soon, he came to a huge toad statue. Without any hesitation, he placed his hands on the statue. However, just as Yi Yu was about to use his strength to move the huge stone statue, an idea suddenly came to his mind. Sage art, space movement. 
Yu Yu's mind moved, and the huge toad statue disappeared out of thin air. As expected of magic, I can transport such a big toad statue to the beginning sphere space so easily. With Yu Yu's own huge amount of chakra, it is not impossible to teleport the huge toad statue to the origin space. But it's definitely not an easy task. Yu Yu, who enters sage mode, can do it very easily by using the magic chakra. Space movement has been greatly enhanced. Just when Yu Yu was overjoyed that he had used sage art for the first time, Fukusaku over there was furious. Xiao Ye Yu, where did you take the stone statue? It's the remains of our ancestors. Don't worry, I'll get it back right away. Yu Yu said something to Fukusaku, and then activated sage art space movement again. Yu Yu's figure disappeared out of thin air. When he reappeared, he was holding an extremely huge toad statue in his arms. Huge toad statue weighing several tons. Ordinary ninjas can't even move it, let alone lift it. Yu Yu, who was in sage mode, lifted it up very easily. Ordinary chakra will become more and more tiring the more you use it. Chakra, on the other hand, is just the opposite. Little Yi Yu, you can try to release other ninjutsu next. No, it should be called sage art now. After hearing Fukusaku's words, Yi Yu put down the huge toad statue, and then went to the thorn forest to test other ninjutsu. First, what Yi Yu wants to test is the upgraded version of Reikiri. During the 10 days or so when 2 Tomo Sharingan was added to Mangekyo Sharingan, Yi Yu also maxed out the proficiency of Reikiri. The upgraded Reikiri can release lightning from the palm of his hand like Uchiha Madara's Sage Art, Yin Release Thunder style. It's just that the thunder and lightning released by the 313 from the ordinary chakra is far less powerful than the Sage Art Yin Escape Thunder School. However, now Yi Yu has entered Sage Mode and possesses the magic chakra. I saw Yi Yu's hands forming seals, and the next second, an extremely violent electric grid shot out from Yi Yu's palms. Tisk tisk tisk. Rumble. In front of Yi Yu, a spike like hill with a height of 100 meters collapsed in an instant. It's so powerful, it's worthy of Sage Art. From now on, I will call you Sage Art, Yin Dun Lei Sect. Yi Yu directly borrowed the name from Uchiha Madara Sage Art. After testing Lightning Style, Yi Yu then, tested Explosion Style, Water Style, and Earth Style. With the blessing of Sage Art Chakra, the power of these Sage Art has been greatly enhanced. Fukusaku stood on the top of a thorn and looked at Yi Yu who was testing Sage Art in the distance, feeling extremely amazed in his heart. Of course, what he marveled at was not the power of Yi Yu's Sage Art. After all, Fukusaku himself uses Sage Art. He knew only too well how big the gap was between Sage Art and ordinary ninjutsu. What amazed him was how long Yi Yu maintained Sage Mode. Fifteen minutes have passed, and Xiao Ye Yu's Sage Mode still hasn't ended. It seems that he can use Sage Mode very well on his own without any help from me or the child. You know, when Uzumaki Naruto enters Sage Mode, it can only last for five minutes. When Yi Yu entered Sage Mode for the first time, he persisted for more than 15 minutes. A few more minutes passed, and the loud noise in the spike forest disappeared, and Yi Yu also exited Sage Mode. The first time I entered Sage Mode, it lasted nearly 20 minutes. When you can master the natural energy, it will take more than 20 minutes. Little Ye Yu, you are really a genius. Seeing Yi Yu coming over, Fukusaku jumped down from the top of the spikes, came to Yi Yu, and praised him without hesitation. 20 minutes, Yi Yu knew that 20 minutes was definitely not his limit. His chakra amount is steadily increasing every day. As his chakra becomes larger and larger, his body will be able to hold more and more natural energy. Correspondingly, the number of magical chakras that Yi Yu can create will increase, and naturally, the sage mode will also be extended accordingly. In addition, he can continuously improve his proficiency in sage mode. The higher the proficiency of sage mode, the longer the duration of sage mode will be. Add these two items together, and the 20 minute duration is just the beginning. It will get longer and longer in the future. Suddenly, Yi Yu thought of a question. If the proficiency of sage mode is maxed out in the future, and my chakra amount is extremely huge, can sage mode be maintained forever? What will happen if sage mode becomes the norm? There is no answer to this question yet. We have to wait until Yi Yu really reaches full proficiency in sage mode. 
I don't know what Sage Mode will be upgraded to after it reaches full level. Yu Yu was filled with great expectations. Returning to Toad Pond, Yu Yu once again started the process of two Shadow Clone taking turns to hit the healer. Xiao Ye Yu, you can already enter Sage Mode with the help of Toad Oil. You don't need to be so cruel to yourself anymore and you can proceed to the next step of practice. Fukusaku saw that Yi Yu had begun, self-abuse, again, and he hurriedly spoke out to persuade him. Yi Yu shook his head. Although he can enter Sage Mode with the help of Toad Oil, his self-healing ability has not been developed yet. If you don't take this opportunity to bring out Muji's self-healing, then the previous beating will not be in vain. Yi Yu thought this in his heart, but said, no, I feel that I still have many shortcomings. I need to continue to practice and lay a solid foundation. Hearing Yi Yu's words, Fukusaku burst into tears. Xiao Ye Yu, you are obviously a genius, yet you still work so hard. Boom, immediately afterwards, a series of knocking sounds were heard in the air of Mount Myoboku. The beating sound lasted all day. Finally, when Fukusaku was about to call Yi Yu to eat dinner, the banging stopped. Point zero. And in Yi Yu's mind, he thought he heard the system prompt jar. Ding, congratulations. The host's wound self-healing proficiency has reached the full level, and wound self-healing is automatically upgraded to high-speed regeneration. Hearing this different system prompt, Yi Yu felt happy at first, and then ecstatic. High-speed regeneration. Originally, Yi Yu thought that after reaching full proficiency in wound self-healing, he would be upgraded to the unsealed self-healing possessed by first Hokage. Unexpectedly, after reaching the full proficiency of Wound Self-Healing Tian Juchung High-Speed Regeneration. You must know high-speed regeneration, but the ability in Shinigami can restore broken limbs to their original state in an instant. With excitement, Yi Yu hurriedly checked the introduction of high-speed regeneration. As expected, the effect of Super Regeneration is similar to the high-speed regeneration in Shinigami. In the original drama, Six Paths Madara was kicked by Might, and at that time, most of his body was broken. As a result, Six Paths Madara's wounds began to heal at a speed visible to the naked eye. And high-speed regeneration is faster than Six Paths Madara's recovery speed. High-speed regeneration, this is an unexpected surprise. As Yi Yu spoke, he stabbed a splinter beside him. Numenon, what are you doing? The split body's entire arm was chopped off, and he was immediately furious. Test high-speed regeneration, Yi Yu said casually while holding the broken arm of the split body. When the split body opens, granulation grows on the broken arm of the split body. Soon, the granulation grew at a rate that was visible to the naked eye. By the time Yi Yu finished speaking, the broken arm of the split body had returned to its original state. Seeing this scene, Yi Yu was overjoyed as expected of high-speed regeneration. Although the split body grew new arms, he still cursed, you want to test, you cut your own arm. Without waiting for the split body to finish speaking, Yi Yu dispelled all 12 split bodies of Mount Myoboku. Mr. Fukusaku, I'm going to leave now and come back tomorrow. Yi Yu greeted Fukusaku, although Sage Mode has entered Yi Yu's system panel. Next, he only needs to continue to brush up on the proficiency of Sage Mode. When the proficiency of Sage Mode improves to a certain level, he can enter Sage Mode without the help of Toad Oil. However, Yi Yu has not learned the supporting skills of Sage Mode yet. For example, Frog Sparring uses natural abilities to increase the attack range. These are all good abilities, and Yi Yu doesn't want to miss them. In the original drama, after Cloud Shinobi Village learned that Sunagakar's third case cage was missing, Cloud Shinobi Village took the opportunity to gather troops to attack Sunagakar. After defeating Sunagakar, Cloud Shinobi Village turned its attention to Konoha, and the scene of fourth rakage plus killer beeves Namikaze Minato appeared. And now, if the disappearance of the second tail had not occurred, third rakage would have led people to attack Sunagakar. This is why Motoi told Killer B that the atmosphere in the village has been a bit strange recently. Because, Cloud Shinobi Village is preparing for war. Now, all Cloud Shinobi executives are suspicious that it was Konoha who captured the two tails. Immediately, Cloud Shinobi Village gave up the attack on Sunagakar and directly attacked Konoha to recapture the two tails. Outside Konoha Village, Watchtower. 
Two Konoha shinobi practitioners held monocular binoculars and were watching in two directions. Suddenly, a large number of figures appeared in the field of vision of one of the monoculars, running towards Konoha quickly in the ninja's unique way of rushing through the woods. That is, seeing these figures, Konoha shinobi, who was holding a monocular, immediately became very energetic and focused on the foreheads of these figures. After seeing clearly the clothes and forehead protectors of these people, he immediately warned his companions. Attention, at 10 o'clock, there are dozens of cloud shinobi, rushing towards this direction. As soon as this Konoha shinobi finished speaking, another Konoha shinobi holding a monocular also issued the same warning. There are also enemies at 3 o'clock, and there are dozens of them. Not long after the Second Ninja World War ended, the relationship between the five major ninja villages during this period could be described as incompatible. Cloud Shinobi Village sent so many ninjas to Konoha at this time, and they were definitely not here as guests. From the first moment, Konoha Shinobi regarded the opponent as an enemy. Mawan, go and inform Master Hokage, and the others will follow me to fight. The Konoha Shinobi reacted very quickly. The ninja named Mamaki immediately left the watchtower and took a shortcut to enter Konoha village through the outer wall of Konoha village. The other ninjas immediately faced the rushing cloud shinobi. Ding ding ding. Boom. Soon, Konoha shinobi and cloud shinobi were at war. All of a sudden, the sound of steel clashing and the explosion of detonating symbols could be heard. At first, the Konoha shinobi were able to resist, but soon, a large number of cloud shinobi surrounded them from other directions. At this time, Konoha Shinobi people still don't know that this time Cloud Shinobi Village is not as trivial as before. They were attacking Konoha on a large scale. They are provoking a war. No, the other side is going to start a war. The leader, Konoha Shinobi, watched his companions around him being killed one by one by the Cloud Shinobi who came over, and he gritted his teeth and said. At the same time, Mamaki arrived in front of the third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan as quickly as possible. Lord Hokage, the Cloud Shinobi are coming, numbering more than 3,000. Quote. Serutobi Hirazan, who was holding a pipe in his mouth, stopped smoking instantly when he heard this report. Sunagakur did not deliberately conceal the news of the disappearance of the third case cage. Cloud Shinobi Village can receive this news, so naturally Konoha Village can also receive it. As Serutobi Hirazan of Konoha Village Hokage, he knows far more information than the average Konoha shinobi. When he received the news of the disappearance of the third case cage, Serutobi Hirazan knew that the war in the ninja world was about to start again. Therefore, he recalled Jiraiya who was traveling. These days, Konoha has also been actively preparing for war secretly. Now that Cloud Shinobi is coming, Serutobi Hirazan has many speculations in his mind. One of the speculations is that Cloud Shinobi Village is going to war against Konoha. It's just that Serutobi Hirazan can't figure it out. Why did Cloud Shinobi Village not go to fight Sunagakur, but come to fight Konoha? After all, Sunagakur lost the third case cage at this time, and the village fell into civil strife. Compared to Konoha, Sunagakur is more like a soft persimmon. Don't think about it if you don't understand it, Serutobi Hirazan immediately issued a combat mission. Soon, all the Jonin in Konoha village received Hokage's orders. Suddenly, a large number of ninjas gathered towards the forest outside Konoha village. Backquote Hey Kakashi, what happened? Might Guy and others are still just Chunin, and they have not received orders from Hokage. But seeing a large number of ninjas running in the same direction among the rooftops, no matter how stupid they were, they knew what was happening in the village. Then Might Guy and others found Kakashi, the new Jonin. Kakashi is wearing a black combat uniform, carrying the short sword inherited from his father White Fang on his back. He tightened the wrist guard on his hand, said to Might Guy and others, Cloud Shinobi Village is attacking, and then followed the other Konoha Jonin and rushed out of Konoha Village. Watching Kakashi's leaving figure and feeling the depressing atmosphere in the air, Yuhi Hong clenched her fists involuntarily, with a worried look on her delicate and pretty face Lee's good father, Yi Yu. Quote, Kurunai Yuhi's father, Kurunai Yuhi, and Yohane are both Jonin. From Yuhi Hong's point of view, her father and Yi Yu might have rushed over at this time. What Yuhi Hong doesn't know is that Yohan is still learning various application methods of natural energy at Mount Myoboku. Sun, 
Compared to Yuhi Kurunai's worry, Might Guy looked unwilling. He wanted to fight with Kakashi and other Konoha shinobi. In Might Guy's opinion, he is no longer a child, he is the Chunin of Konoha village. He should not be protected, but should fight. Guy, calm down. Master Hokage must have had some considerations before he allowed us to join the war. Shiranui Genma put a hand on Might Guy's shoulder and comforted him. Although Yohan is in Mount Myoboku, how can he hide the split body lurking in Cloud Shinobi Village when Cloud Shinobi Village is conducting such a large-scale combat operation? As early as when Cloud Shinobi's army left the Kingdom of Thunder, Yi Yu had already received the news that Cloud Shinobi was about to attack Konoha. Therefore, Yi Yu asked the splinter body to keep an eye on the movements of Cloud Shinobi's army and notify him immediately if Cloud Shinobi's army arrived near Konoha Village. Yi Yu from Mount Myoboku was practicing sage mode combat skills with Fukusaku, when a piece of paper suddenly appeared out of thin air. Yi Yu knew that this was sent by the split body using space movement. He immediately distanced himself from Fukusaku, jumped up, and caught the piece of paper. All I saw was written on the paper, Cloud Shinobi has arrived. Mr. Fukusaku, let's stop here for today's practice. There are some things to deal with in Konoha. After Yi Yu disposed of the paper, he said to Fukusaku. Good. After some high-intensity combat training, the elderly Fukusaku was a little overwhelmed. Therefore, Fukusaku agreed to Yi Yu's proposal without thinking. After Yi Yu's figure disappeared, Fukusaku took a deep breath, Xiao Yi Yu's growth is really amazing. In just a few days, he has completely mastered the power of sage mode. No wonder Grandpa Your Excellency asked me to go to Konoha to pick him up. When Yi Yu left Mount Myoboku and rushed to the Cloud Shinobi battlefield, another person from Konoha village also rushed towards the battlefield at an astonishing speed. This person is none other than Namikaze Minato who knows how to use the Flying Thunder God technique. During the Fourth Ninja War, Namikaze Minato was the first to arrive on the battlefield before the first Hokage, second Hokage, and third Hokage, and used the Flying Thunder God Guide Mind to transfer ten tails tailed beast bombs to on the sea. K. Okay. Right now, Namikaze Minato is using his super-fast running style to rush towards the battlefield. When receiving the news of Cloud Shinobi's attack, Namikaze Minato used his perception ability to sense it. He discovered that the number of Cloud Shinobi was far greater than he imagined. Moreover, the patrol team outside Konoha village was already surrounded by enemies. The patrol team is in danger. Without saying a word, Namikaze Minato activated the Flying Thunder God technique. He was ready to reach the battlefield as quickly as possible and rescue the patrols who were surrounded. Call out! A special kunai just landed. Namikaze Minato's figure appeared in the place where the special kunai was. At this time, he was already a minister of the woods outside Konoha village. It's not far from the battlefield. Without any hesitation, Namikaze Minato immediately picked up the special kunai on the ground and threw it in the direction of the battlefield. Sensing that the specially made flying thunder god technique stopped moving, Minato moved the thunder god technique. But this time something unexpected happened. I saw that after Namikaze Minato activated the flying thunder god technique, his figure was still in place. What happened? Flying thunder god technique failed. Namikaze Minato's face was filled with astonishment. Ever since he fully mastered the Flying Thunder God technique, there has never been a failure to activate the Flying Thunder God technique. But now, when they are about to arrive at the battlefield, the Flying Thunder God technique fails to activate. How could this not surprise Namikaze Minato? But Namikaze Minato is also very human. He quickly calmed down and activated the Flying Thunder God technique again. But the result is still failure. What on earth is it? You were able to use the Flying Thunder God technique normally just now, why can't you use the Flying Thunder God technique now? Namikaze Minato was filled with doubts. Doubts are doubts. But now that the situation is urgent, Namikaze Minato doesn't have time to think so much. Since Flying Thunder God technique cannot be used, then just rush there, it's not very far anyway. However, just as Namikaze Minato was about to leave, he sensed an unusually large and familiar chakra. This chakra is Yi Yu. Namikaze Minato was immediately overjoyed. Ever since he noticed Yi Yu during the Chunin exam two years ago, he has been paying attention to Yi Yu in the past two years. 
he knew that Yi Yu's strength was no longer inferior to his own. Yi Yu arrived at the battlefield first. The effect is almost the same as arriving on the battlefield by himself. For a moment, Namikaze Minato let go of a lot of worries about the patrol members. As expected of Yi Yu, his speed has surpassed mine and he reached the battlefield faster than me. While praising Yi Yu, Namikaze Minato's running movements did not stop. Suddenly, he seemed to have thought of something and muttered to himself. I failed to activate Flying Thunder God just now. Could it be because of Yi Yu? His time and space like blood relay limit has developed new abilities. In addition to being able to teleport, it can also block time and space like a barrier. The actual situation is indeed similar to what Namikaze Minato guessed. His Flying Thunder God technique was suddenly unable to be used, which was because of Yi Yu. The ability of Mangekyo in Yi Yu's right eye is Forbidden Air, which can passively prevent other people within a certain range around him from using time and space abilities. Yi Yu just teleported from Mount Myoboku. It happened to appear near Namikaze Minato's special kanai. Ever since, Namikaze Minato became the first person affected by Forbidden Sky since Yi Yu opened Mangekyo Sharingan. Konoha Forest. Three Konoha shinobi wielding kanai stood back to back in a pin shape and stared at the cloud shinobi on the surrounding trees with vigilant faces. Get rid of these three Konoha shinobi quickly. The leading cloud shinobi waved his hand, and the cloud shinobi on the surrounding tree trunks immediately rushed towards the three Konoha shinobi. Hateful, the three Konoha shinobi saw dozens of cloud shinobi rushing over, and they all had angry faces. Just when the three Konoha shinobi were preparing to fight, thunder nets suddenly appeared above their heads. Sage Art, Yin Escape Thunder School. Chi Chi Chi. The violent thunder and lightning caught all those who came and went. I saw a dozen cloud shinobi falling from the sky like dumplings, with burnt smoke rising from their bodies. What? This sudden scene shocked the three Konoha shinobi and the remaining cloud shinobi. They all looked in a certain direction. I saw a young man wearing black glasses suddenly appearing on the trunk of a big tree. This boy in sunglasses is naturally Yi Yu who came from Mount Myoboku. His sage mode has not been released yet. But since both eyes were wearing sunglasses, the unique eye shadow of sage mode was also covered by the sunglasses. It's Yi Yu, although the name Yi Yu has not yet resounded throughout Nin Yuan. But becoming a Jonin at the age of 10, and possessing the blood inheritance limit of time and space, Yi Yu is still quite famous in Konoha village. The three Konoha shinobi recognized Yi Yu at a glance, and their faces, which were originally looking at death, also showed a look of joy. Compared to the joy on the faces of the three Konoha shinobi, the expression on Cloud Shinobi's face became a little ugly. With just one blow, Yi Yu not only saved the three Konoha shinobi, but also killed dozens of them. It's strange that their faces look good. Shout, reinforcements from Konoha. They came really fast. The leader, Cloud Shinobi, let out a light cry, and then glanced behind Yi Yu. Seeing that no other Konoha Shinobi came behind Yi Yu, he breathed a sigh of relief again, but, you are the only one. I alone am enough to deal with you. Yi Yu glanced at Namikaze Minato's special kanai on the ground, and then said to the three Konoha Shinobi, you should leave quickly, as far away as possible. To deal with these cloud Shinobi, one can easily kill them instantly with just one swordsmanship. But Yi Yu wanted to try another trick. That was the self-destruction he had been thinking about all along. That's right, it's Didara's move, the explosion is Patrick. Although after Didara reveals Patrick's star, he will die along with him. But Yi Yu won't. Since the water transformation technique was upgraded to elemental transformation, Yi Yu's body can not only transform into water. He can transform wind, fire, thunder, earth, etc. into the chakra attributes that Yi Yu possesses. After Yi Yu upgraded hydration technique to elementalization, he tested the ability of elementalization. After his body is completely transformed into the element of fire, he is immune to all fire type damage, including explosions. But just in case, he did not immediately self destruct. After all, he knew that in One Piece, Ace, who could transform into the element of fire, was killed by a Kainu, who transformed into magma. Elementalization is not omnipotent and cannot be wasted. What Yi Yu is worried about is that the power of self destruction is too great. Once it exceeds the upper limit of fire elemental immunity, 
his end may be like Suigetsu who withstood a tailed beast bullet from eight tails and languished for a period of time. But now, Yi Yu has the ability of high-speed regeneration. Even if he is sluggish, he can quickly recover. After being besieged by Cloud Shinobi, the three Konoha Shinobi were already at the end of their tether. They knew that even if they and others stayed, they would only drag Yi Yu down. Therefore, after saying to Yi Yu, then be careful, he quickly retreated in the direction of Konoha village. Want to leave? Naturally, it was impossible for Cloud Shinobi to watch the three Konoha Shinobi retreat, but just when the Cloud Shinobi were about to separate some of their people, they went after the three Konoha Shinobi. A Cloud Shinobi with the ability to perceive changed his face and hurriedly pointed at Yi Yu and shouted, No, this guy's chakra amount exceeds Rakage Sama and is comparable to a tailed beast. The chakra in his body begins to gather crazily. He wants to blow himself up. Upon hearing this, the expressions of all the cloud shinobi changed drastically. Are you kidding me? The amount of chakra comparable to a tailed beast self-destructs, the power is probably greater than the tailed beast pressure released by a tailed beast. Just imagining that scene makes all the cloud shinobi's heads go numb. Hurry, retreat quickly. The leader, cloud shinobi, shouted hurriedly. At the same time, he didn't even dare to look at Yi Yu, and turned around and ran away. The remaining twenty or so Cloud Shinobi also ran away, not daring to stop at all. What happened to that guy? You obviously have such a huge chakra, why do you self-destruct when you disagree? While all the Cloud Shinobi were running away quickly, they couldn't help but curse in their hearts. At this time, Yi Yu suddenly realized something. That is the amount of chakra he has, which is much larger than Didara's. The Patrick star produced by his self-destruction is naturally much larger than Didara's Patrick star. Ah, almost forgot about that. This is a little closer to Konoha. If you explode here, the entire Konoha's white fang will be affected. It's better to stay a little farther away. As he spoke, Yi Yu used space movement to disappear. When Yi Yu appeared again, he was already thousands of meters away in front of a group of Cloud Shinobi. Cloud Shinobi's perceivers were only focused on escaping and did not sense Yi Yu's sudden appearance in front of them. They kept running towards where Yi Yu was. After a few seconds, Yi Yu's body became completely transparent and finally transformed into a figure the size of a fist. Soon, beams of bright light emerged from the fist sized figure. The next moment, the figure was completely shattered, and the dazzling light overwhelmed the sun in the sky, swallowing up everything around it. At this moment, there was an eerie silence between heaven and earth. But this silence is brewing destruction. Boom! Soon, a huge explosion with shocking power sounded between the heaven and the earth. The explosion of fire was like a rapidly expanding giant of light. The violent air waves carried terrifying high temperatures, annihilating everything around them. Cloud Shinobi, who was running away quickly, was engulfed by the expanding, light beam, before he could realize what was going on. Outside Konoha village, Namikaze Minato had just joined the three retreating Konoha Shinobi. Before he could ask, he saw an extremely huge, pat star, rising in the distant sky. In Konoha village, Kakashi and other Jonin who were running quickly on the roof also saw, the huge, pat a star, that replaced the sun in the sky in the distance. Lord Hokage, the Hokage's guard hurriedly came to Sarutobi Hirazan and shouted urgently. Cloud Shinobi is coming, and as the Hokage of Konoha village, Sarutobi Hirazan cannot be alone. At this moment, he has already put on his helmet and armor, ready to go to the battlefield at any time. Seeing the panicked look of the guard, Sarutobi Hirazan's expression also condensed and he asked in a serious tone, there have been changes on the battlefield. Lord Hokage, look outside. The guard replied hastily. Hearing this, Sarutobi Hirazan turned around and looked out the window, only to see an extremely huge, pat star, appearing in the distant sky. What's going on? Sarutobi Hirazan looked at the huge, pat star, with an extremely solemn expression. Then, he hurriedly walked out of Hokage's office and said to the guards who followed him, go and call Hiyashi quickly. Yes, the guard did not dare to delay at all, and his figure disappeared instantly. At the same time, Hiyashi, in Sarutobi Hirazan's mouth was leading a group of Jonin from the Hyuga family towards the battlefield outside Konoha village. In order to be able to understand the dynamics of the battlefield in real time, 
the two brothers Hayuga Hiyashi and Hayuga Hazashi kept their Byakugan open during the attack. They clearly saw the whole process of saving a Konoha team member at night. Of course, I also saw the huge chakra in Yi Yu's body gathering crazily, and saw a group of cloud shinobi escaping in a hurry. But when Yi Yu used space movement to disappear, they lost Yi Yu's vision. After all, this is beyond the viewing distance of their white eyes. But even so, they could still guess that the huge, pat star that suddenly appeared in the sky was probably Yi Yu's masterpiece. Compared to the shock of the ninjas inside Konoha village when they saw Pat Star, the three Konoha members who were rescued by Yi Yu outside Konoha village were looking frightened at this time. Then, what exactly is it? Don't worry, this should be Yi Yu's ninjutsu. Namikaze Minato looked at the huge, Pat Star, and comforted the three Konoha shinobi with a serious expression. Yi Yu, he actually made such a big fuss. No wonder he kept us apart as much as possible. Yi Yu is so close to the explosion, will he be fine? After hearing the words of the three Konoha shinobi, Namikaze Minato fell silent and did not answer. Although he doesn't have Byakugan, he has powerful perception ability. He could clearly sense that Yi Yu's chakra was now at the center of the explosion. Although he knew that Yi Bai's current strength was very weak. But he was not sure whether Yi Yu could survive the explosion unharmed. After all, this explosion has exceeded the ordinary tailed beast bomb. A storm is coming, let's use big trees to resist it. Not long after Namikaze Minato finished speaking, the huge Patrick star in the sky turned into a burst of fire. Immediately afterwards, the terrifying shock wave, centered on the place where Pi Daxing was located, spread out in all directions at an alarming speed like ripples. Hills and trees that were closer to the explosion were instantly turned into powder by the shock wave. The tall trees farther away fell to one side like waves of wheat blown by the wind. Those big trees that were crushed flew away into the distance along with the gravel. Half a minute later, the shock wave arrived near Konoha village. Although the shock wave was weakened layer by layer through the forest. But when we arrived at Konoha village, it was still very intense. All the ninjas in Konoha had to stop and put their hands in front of themselves under the impact of the strong wind. This strong wind comes and goes quickly. Soon, the strong wind dissipated, and Namikaze Minato and three Konoha patrol members walked out from behind an extremely thick tree. Phew, saved point zero inches. One of the Konoha shinobi said with a frightened expression. The three of you go back to the village to report the battle situation to Master Hokage. I'll go over and check on Yi Yu's situation. Namikaze Minato said to the three Konoha shinobi, and then rushed towards the center of the explosion. When Namikaze Minato arrived at the explosion site, he was also shocked by the scene in front of him. I saw that the original vast forest had disappeared. In its place was a huge pit. At the bottom of the deep pit, there is gurgling underground water emerging. At this time, a large pool has been formed. The entire landscape has actually changed. I'm afraid it won't be long before this place becomes the second valley of the end. The valley of the end is the deformation of the landform caused by the battle between the first Hokage and Uchiha Madara. The huge pit in front of him was formed by Yi Yu's self-destruction. As he spoke, Namikaze Minato walked along the edge of the pit and towards the bottom of the pit. He had already sensed Yi Yu's chakra, which was in the pool at the bottom of the pit. Namikaze Minato can sense Yi Yu's chakra, so why can't Yi Yu sense the arrival of Namikaze Minato? Just as Yi Yu she expected, he survived the self-destruction unharmed by relying on fire elemental transformation plus high-speed regeneration. Before Namikaze Minato could reach the bottom of the pit, a huge bubble suddenly appeared in the center of the pool. Immediately afterwards, the bubble shrank and deformed, condensing into a human form, and finally turned into Yi Yu. This is. Dot the hydration technique of the Ghost Lantern Clan. Namikaze Minato recognized the Onidan Clan's hydration technique at a glance. At the same time, there was a look of surprise on his face. No wonder you can use that ability to almost self destruct. It turns out you have the hydration technique. No, the reason why I dare to self destruct is because the fire element plus super speed are alive. Yi Yu added in his heart. In the original drama, Cloud Shinobi Village sent people to sneak into Konoha Village several times to kidnap people. Once when Uzumaki Kashina was a child, 
Cloud Shinobi noticed that Uzumaki Kashina Chakra was special and captured her, but she was caught up by Namikaze Minato and finally snatched Uzumaki Kashina back. Once when Hayuga Hanada was a child, Cloud Shinobi wanted to gain the Byakugan of the Hayuga family and kidnapped Hayuga Hanada. Eventually, Hayuga Hiyashi caught up with him and killed Cloud Shinobi who kidnapped Hayuga Hanada. Cloud Shinobi Village used this to launch an attack, and Konoha senior officials in order to avoid the war with Cloud Shinobi Village, the body of Hayuga Neji's father was handed over. This time, Cloud Shinobi Village also planned to sneak into Konoha Village to kidnap people. However, what is different from the original drama is that this time Cloud Shinobi Village plans to make a splash in the east and in the west. They are preparing to send the advance troops to sneak into Konoha Village and wait for orders. Then the official troops declared war on Konoha. After the official troops fought with the Konoha Shinobi, the advance troops who sneaked into Konoha took advantage of the emptiness inside Konoha to start arresting people. The first target is Nine Tails Jinchuriki, and the Two Tailed Twenty who may be captured by Konoha. The second target is the Sharingan of the Uchiha family, and the Byakugan of the Hayuga family. The plan was originally very perfect, but unfortunately, the advance troops of Cloud Shinobi Village were wiped out by Yu before they even sneaked into Konoha Village. Border of the Land of Fire, Cloud Shinobi Central Army Commander's Camp The Grumpy, Fourth Rakage, Walking Around the Camp as time went by, the expression on his face became increasingly impatient. Suddenly, Toshiro, who was the military advisor for this battle, walked in hastily from outside the camp. Did the advance troops send the news? Fourth Rakage, asked hurriedly. Toshiro glanced at, Fourth Rakage, and then said to the superior Third Rakage who closed his eyes and rested, Sir Rakage, the plan failed. The reconnaissance team did not receive news from the advance team. It should have been discovered by Konoha. Although Tashiro didn't say it clearly, Third Rakage understood that Tashiro wanted to say that the advance troops were destroyed by the regiment. However, upon hearing the news, Third Rakage still showed no expression on his face. On the contrary, Fourth Rakage said with a displeased look on his face, I have already said that this kind of trick is useless, we should fight directly until Konoha hands over the second tail. When Third Rakage heard his son's speech as a reckless man, he finally couldn't sit still and scolded, Fourth Rakage, directly, shut up. Then, he said to Toshiro, reconnaissance team, any other news? Shortly after the advance troops entered Konoha, the reconnaissance troops discovered that there was a very huge explosion more than 10 kilometers away from Konoha village. The power of the explosion exceeded the tailed beast bomb released by Tails. Toshiro said, Tailed beast bombs released beyond eight tails. Could it be that Konoha dispatched nine tails? Third Rakage asked as if talking to himself. It's unclear at the moment. The investigation team was worried about being discovered by Konoha and did not go to the scene to check. Kaido Toshiro. Third Rakage crossed his arms, closed his eyes and was silent for a moment, then said, no matter what, the second tail must be taken back. Since the plan failed, let's attack head on. In addition, since Konoha took the lead in using the power of the tailed beasts, we must also use the tailed beasts here to compete. Toshiro wanted to say that he was still not sure whether the explosion was the work of nine tails. But seeing how tough Third Rakage's attitude was, Tochio could only reply, yes. Just as Cloud Shinobi Village was preparing to launch an all-out attack on Konoha Village, Third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan was meeting with the two brothers Hayuga Hiyashi and Hayuga Hazashi. The huge explosion outside the village was caused by Yi Yu. Serutobi Hirazan took a deep puff of cigarette and asked the two brothers of the Hayuga family in a confirming manner. Yes, my Byakugan saw that after Yi Yu rescued the patrol members from Cloud Shinobi, he began to gather a large number of chakra. Judging from the posture, he was preparing to self-destruct. The terrifying explosion should be the result of Yi Yu's self-destruction. A. Hearing Hayuga Hiyashi say this word, Serutobi Hirazan coughed violently due to the smoke. E. It's not like there are no ninjas who commit suicide in Konoha village. A few years ago, Kakashi's father, Hitaki White Fang, committed suicide. But Hitaki White Fang committed suicide because he couldn't bear the rumors in the village. As for Yi Yu, there are no negative rumors about him in the village. On the contrary, they are all praising Yi Yu for how strong and talented he is. 
In addition, Yi Yu was also invited to Mount Myoboku to practice celestial arts. With such a promising future, Sarutobi Hirazan really couldn't figure out why Yi Yu couldn't think of it and committed suicide. Dong Dong Dong. Just when Hayuga Hiyashi was about to speak, this is what I saw with my supercilious eyes. But before Hayuga Hiyashi had time to speak, there was a knock on the door. Enter. Sarutobi Hirazan said. Soon, Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato walked in from outside the door. Yi Yu, seeing Yi Yu, the Hokage office fell into absolute silence for a moment. Sarutobi Hirazan glanced at Yi Yu, and then his eyes fell on Hayuga Hiyashi. His eyes seemed to say, Didn't you say that Yi Yu blew himself up? Hayuga Hiyashi responded with an, I don't know either, look. Yi Yu, Minato, what happened? Hiyashi said that the explosion outside the village was caused by your self-destruction. Sarutobi Hirazan asked Yi Yu. The explosion was indeed caused by my self-destruction. I'm testing a new jutsu. As soon as Yi Yu said these words, the two Hayuga brothers were shocked. If it weren't for the good tutoring in the Hayuga family, the two brothers would probably have used swear words, holding grass, self-destruction when testing noon and jutsu and the power of your self-destruction is too exaggerated. In addition to ninjas, Konoha village is home to many ordinary residents like Ichiraku. The power of, Pat Star, shocked even the ninjas, let alone ordinary residents. In order to appease people, 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hirazan had to issue an announcement to the whole village. Soon, everyone in the village knew that the terrifying explosion just now was an ninjutsu performed by Yiyu against the enemy, and all the enemies had died in the explosion. Originally, Yiyu's name was only spread among ninjas, but now even ordinary children who have not yet entered school know about Yiyu. I see, that explosion was Yiyu's ninjutsu. Yiyu is really powerful. Uchiha Itachi, who was only four years old, looked at the sky and said aloud. Of course, Yi Yu is the genius in the village. He became Jonin two years ago, and at that time, he was only ten years old. Nine-year-old Uchiha Shisui looked at Uchiha Itachi and said with praise. Yi Yu is the big brother who entered my spiritual world. More than twenty days have passed since Yi Yu left Uchiha Azumi's spiritual world. In the past twenty days, every time the little girl practiced the fire style, dragon fire technique and body flicker technique taught to her by Yi Yu, she could not help but think of Yi Yu's days in her spiritual world. It's just that the little girl regarded this matter as a little secret in her heart and told no one. Today, the little girl heard Yi Yu's name from someone else for the first time, and it was from the mouth of third Hokage. The little girl was so excited that her mouth Kakuzu couldn't help but curl up. Izumi, what's wrong? Kwanmei's father noticed his daughter's emotional change and asked with concern. No, it's nothing. The little girl shook her head, and then added in her heart, I didn't expect that my brother would be so powerful. Okay, it's okay. All the enemies have been eliminated by Yi Yu. We can go home, Hong. Yuhihi Kurinai's father, Yuhihi Kurinai, greeted his daughter. Yuhi Hong, who was wearing a long one-piece dress, opened her beautiful ruby-like eyes and glanced at the crowd. After not noticing Yi Yu's figure, she followed her father home. Yi Yu, getting stronger and stronger. Quote dot 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 quote. Kakashi is only 12 years old now, which is when his competitive spirit is strongest. Knowing that Yi Yu could produce such terrifying power with just one ninjutsu made him feel very complicated. Just when Kakashi was thinking this, Might Guy on the side said excitedly, as expected of Yi Yu, he is stronger than before. After saying that, he showed Kakashi a smile with shining white teeth, and then said, Kakashi, we have to work harder, we can't be driven too far by Yi Yudin. Seeing Might Guy's extremely optimistic attitude, Kakashi sighed helplessly and strode away. Kakashi, where are you going? Might Kakashi left in despair, and he asked with some worry. Go practice. Obviously, Kakashi listened to Might Guy's words. Hearing this, Might Guy grinned and immediately chased after Kakashi. Wait for me, Kakashi. Of course Yi Yu didn't know that his name was spreading wildly in Konoha village. After leaving Hokage's office, he directly used space movement to return to Mount Myoboku. After all, he went to Konoha village and blew himself up during a love break during his training. Now that the self-destruction is over, 
Cloud Shinobi's advanced troops have also been dealt with, and they have to come back to continue training. Xiao Yeyu, is the matter finished? When Fukusaku saw Yi Yu suddenly appear, he immediately jumped down from the huge banana leaf and asked Yi Yu. It's done. Yi Yu nodded. Then let's continue. As he spoke, Fukusaku began to absorb natural energy. Yi Yu stood there and was lost in thought. After a moment, he asked aloud, Mr. Fukusaku, are there any particularly powerful senjutsu among Mount Myoboku senjutsu? Yi Yu has almost learned the magical techniques such as frog kumite and frog knocking. As for the toad's exclusive magical skills such as frog croaking and tongue cutting, even if Yi Yu could get it through the system, he would not bother to do it. He wants to learn other powerful magical arts. Especially powerful, isn't the magic technique I taught you powerful? Fukusaku looked at Yi Yu and asked. Yi Yu wanted to say, it's not particularly powerful. But seeing Fukusaku's serious look, Yi Yu could only say tactfully, it's quite powerful, but I want to learn more celestial arts. Xiao Ye Yu, you are indeed a genius, but you can't aim too high. Fukusaku began to preach. Yi Yu automatically blocked Fukusaku's nagging, and could only sigh helplessly in his heart, it seems that I have to find powerful magic by myself. In fact, Yi Yu has long been interested in a powerful magical skill. That is first Hokage's sage art, true several thousand hands, sage art, Buddha on the top. In the original drama, first Hokage used these two tricks to catch nine tails like a chicken. Looks like a handsome bunch. Although the celestial arts that Yi Yu is currently learning are much better than ordinary ninjutsu, they are far behind compared with true several thousand hands and Buddha on the top. Yi Yu also thought that one day, the Susanata Buddha would be so awesome that it would reach heaven. Unfortunately, if you want to use Sage Art, True Several Thousand Hands, and Sage Art, Buddha on top, you need to know wood style. And it's still wood style at the level of first Hokage. Currently, Yi Yu does not know wood style. Sage mode has been learned, Mangekio Sharingan has been upgraded to Eternal Mangekio, it's only a matter of time, wood style has to be put on the agenda. Yi Yu planned in his heart. It is extremely difficult for ordinary ninjas to obtain wood style. Even if Uchiha Madara wants to obtain wood style, he still needs to keep the face of first Hokage in his heart forever. Although Yi Yu can learn Uchiha Madara, it is not necessary. He has better ways to get wood style. Like the Sharingan, he can use the spiritualization technique to enter the body of the wood style ninja and bring the wood style over. There is one wood style ninja in Konoha village now, and this person is none other than the boy Yamato. Although Yamato's wood style is very different from first Hokage's wood style. But Yi Yu only needs to obtain wood style to upgrade it. Even the, three bedrooms and two living rooms technique, can be upgraded to, the arrival of the tree realm. In the past, Yi Yu never went to Yamato to practice wood style. That was because Yamato was a man. If you want to master the wood style, you must use the spiritualization technique and constantly enter and exit Yamato's spiritual world. Yi Yu didn't want to argue with a man, even if it's just mental. Now, he has a solution. That is to upgrade the upgraded healing jutsu reply and continue to upgrade it until it is upgraded to optimization and deterioration. Yi Yu remembered that Gunyang's optimization and deterioration could not only stimulate his own cells and enhance his own physique, but could also give a person plastic surgery and even transformation. That is, male to female. Yohane can use this skill to turn Yamato into the Yamato from One Piece. The technology in the Hokage world is very mysterious. There are obviously surveillance and radios, but in most cases, communication still relies on the most primitive flying pigeons or flying eagles to transmit information. At night, when Konoha Shinobi fell into a deep sleep, a crisp eagle cry sounded over Konoha. Chirp. At the moment when the eagle cry sounded, Namikaze Minato, Kakashi and other Konoha Janin opened their eyes instantly. Although all the Cloud Shinobi during the day were killed by Yohane alone. But to prevent Cloud Shinobi from attacking again, most Janin sleep with their clothes on. Soon, Namikaze Minato, Kakashi and other Janin transformed into night walkers, dashed left and right on the roof of Konoha village, and quickly rushed towards the Hokage office building. Just one minute. The room where 3rd Hokage Serutobi Hiruzen was located was already full of people. Uchiha, Hayuga, 
Serutobi, Nara, Akamaiki, Yamanaka, Inazuka, Abarame. All major families in Konoha village have Jonin coming. Of course, there are also Jonin who were born as civilians, such as Yohain, Namikaze Minato, and Jiraiya. At this moment, all the Konoha Jonin looked solemn. The air is also filled with a chilling atmosphere. Because all the Konoha Jonin present knew exactly what the eagle cry represented. Sure enough, the first word spoken by third Hokage Serutobi Hirazan confirmed everyone's suspicions. The war has begun. I have just received information that the third rakage of Cloud Shinobi village is leading a large number of Cloud Shinobi to invade the land of fire. Due to the emergency, Serutobi Hirazan didn't even have time to hold a combat meeting. After a brief mobilization, he asked a group of Jonin to gather manpower and rushed to the front line overnight. This time it is a large-scale war. In addition to the Genin who just graduated this year who do not need to participate, Might Guy, Shiranui Genma and other, 10,000 years Genin, who have graduated for more than two years, such as Chunin, Might Dai, Maruboshi Kosuke, etc., all going to the battlefield. The war during this period had not yet formed a complete system. In addition to the Second Ninja War, Tsunade proposed integrating medical ninjas to form a medical force, which was continued to be used in this war. The remaining ninjas are either in family units or in class units. Just as Yu Yu expected, in this war, he will temporarily step down from his position as Captain Anbu and return to his original class to participate in the war with Might Guy and Shiranui Genma. Yu Yu, what you told us before turns out to be true. We can indeed carry out missions together again. As Might Guy followed the large army towards the front line, he came to Yu Yu and said nervously and happily. I said Guy, this is war, aren't you scared? Seeing Might Guy's optimistic look, Shiranui Genma couldn't help but complain aloud. Be afraid, but what's the use of being afraid? Might Guy looked at Shiranui Genma and answered matter-of-factly. Son, reason. Shiranui Genma didn't know how to refute for a moment. Listening to the conversation between Might Guy and Gen Shiranui, Yi Yu felt a little emotional, the war is finally coming. To prepare for this war. He has been practicing hard for two and a half years. At this time, he not only possesses a huge amount of chakra comparable to a tailed beast, but also possesses powerful trump cards such as Space Movement Elementalization, High Speed Regeneration, Sage Mode, and Mangekio Sharingan. Yi Yu is confident that with his current strength, as long as he doesn't waste time. This one is stable. Fire Nation Frontier. Lord Rakage, the Konoha army is more than 10 kilometers away and is rushing here quickly. A sentient cloud shinobi suddenly opened his eyes and reported to the third rakage in a rapid tone. Is it finally here? Quickly sense the huge and special ninja chakra among the Konoha army. Third rakage ordered. He was planning to find the Sia Nine Tails Jinchuriki among the Konoha army. The tailed beast is sealed in Jinchuriki's body. As long as Jinchuriki does not use the tailed beast's chakra, it is difficult to sense it. However, Jinchuriki's chakra is generally larger than that of ordinary ninjas, and their chakra is also very special. Therefore, Cloud Shinobi only needs to sense the huge and special ninja chakra among the Konoha army to find Jinchuriki through elimination. Yes, the perceptive Cloud Shinobi closed his eyes again and began to perceive. With Cloud Shinobi's precise perception, an extremely terrifying chakra soon appeared in his perception. At this moment, Cloud Shinobi seemed to be targeted by a terrifying monster. He suddenly opened his eyes and cold sweat broke out on his forehead. Lord Rakage, I sense a huge chakra within the Konoha army that is comparable to a tailed beast. Cloud Shinobi hurriedly reported the report with lingering fear. A chakra comparable to a tailed beast. How is this possible? I remember that Konoha's nine tails Jinchuriki cannot completely transform into tailed beasts. Before third Rakage could speak, Odai, as a military advisor, said with a puzzled look on his face. Only when Jinchuriki completely transforms into a tailed beast can the extremely huge chakra of the tailed beast be fully revealed. Therefore, under normal circumstances, a perceptive ninja cannot sense all the tailed beast chakra sealed in Jinchuriki's body. There was another sentence Toshiro didn't say. That is the nine tails Jinchuriki of Konoha village. Even if it can be fully transformed into a tailed beast, there is no need to fully transform into a tailed beast at this time. After all, they have not yet made peace with the Konoha army. No, 
This chakra does not look like a tailed beast, but a human. The cloud shinobi saw that the military advisor Toshiro had misunderstood, and he hurriedly explained. As soon as these words came out, Toshiro's expression suddenly changed. A human has an amount of chakra comparable to that of a tailed beast. The chakra amount of the third rakage and fourth rakage is much larger than that of ordinary ninjas. But compared to tailed beasts, it's still a little worse. In the entire ninja world, Toshiro had only heard of one person who had the amount of chakra comparable to a tailed beast. At this moment, a person suddenly appeared in Toshiro's mind, first Hokage. I didn't expect that after the first Hokage died, another incredible ninja would appear in Konoha. Toshiro said to Third Rakage in a serious tone. The expression on Third Rakage's face did not change at all. Toshiro, don't worry too much. The reason why First Hokage is powerful is not only because he has a huge chakra, but also because he has a powerful blood succession limit and wood style. If you just have a huge chakra, it's not a big concern. Although Third Rakage soothed the soldiers, for the sake of caution, he still said to a group of sensory ninjas, remember this person's chakra and check his movements at any time. Chapter 71 In the original drama, during the meeting of the Five Shadows, Uzumaki Shonglin turned on her perception ability in order to find Danzo. As a result, Danzo was found, but Danzo's subordinate Yamanaka Fung was also a sentient ninja. Uzumaki Shonglin's perception was sensed by Yamanaka Fung, so she notified Danzo, causing Danzo to run away in advance. This shows that when you stare into the abyss, the abyss is also staring into you. The moment Cloud Shinobi sensed Yi Yu, Yi Yu's perception became passive. As Cloud Shinobi a sentient ninja, Yi Yu followed the other person's perception and sensed it back. Soon, he sensed the presence of a very large chakra nearby. This amount of chakra even exceeds Jiraiya's third rakage. Although Yi Yu's true form has never seen the third rakage, but his split body stayed in Cloud Shinobi village for two years, so he naturally met the third rakage. Correspondingly, the chakra of third rakage was also remembered by the split body. The moment Yi Yu sensed this huge chakra, he recognized it. Quote dot 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 quote. Looking in the direction of third rakage, Yi Yu pondered slightly. Now that he knows where the opponent's leader is, he naturally won't do nothing. Soon, Yi Yu seemed to have thought of something interesting, and the corner of his mouth slowly curved. He was ready to give third rakage a shot. Of course, it's a real cannon. Ever since he mastered the nature transformation of the Thunder Attribute Chakra, Yi Yu has been tinkering with the electromagnetic gun. Yes, that's right, it's Masaka Makoto's electromagnetic gun that jumps on your fingertips. In the end, Yi Yu was really pissed off. Right now, Yi Yu plans to use a railgun on third rakage. However, Third Rakage has lightning-style armor, and ordinary coins serve as cannonballs. Even with the blessing of lightning attributes, they may not be able to break through Third Rakage's defense. Yi Yu is going to use Rasengan as the shell of the electromagnetic gun, and it is also a super-large Rasengan-like Sage Art Big Ball Rasengan. Just do it, Yi Yu accelerated past Might Guy and Shiranui Genma. Yi Yu, what are you going to do? Might Wei asked. I have something to do with Mr. Minato. Yi Yu replied. If you want to release the super electromagnetic Dayama spiral cannon, you must know the Rasengan. Yi Yu doesn't know Rasengan yet. He needs to copy Namikaze Minato's Rasengan with Sharingan first. Yi Yu, Namikaze Minato was following most of the attacks with the three Kakabans. When he saw Yi Yu speeding up and chasing after him, he turned his head and said hello. Teacher Minato, you should have noticed it, someone just sensed it. Yi Yu came to Namikaze Minato and, jumped, side by side. Hearing Yi Yu's words, Namikaze Minato's face flashed with surprise. Namikaze Minato has powerful perception ability, and Cloud Shinobi's perception is naturally perceived by him. What surprised him was that Yi Yu also had the ability to perceive, and he only knew about it now. However, it was just surprise. Soon, Namikaze Minato said, Yes, I noticed it. Do you have any plan? Yi Yu showed a, kind, smile. The huge chakra next to the sentient ninja should be the third rakage of Cloud Shinobi Village. I am going to find a way to him. Namikaze Minato suddenly became interested. Kakashi, Uchiha Obito, 
and Nohara Lin also set their sights on Yu, waiting for Yu to continue speaking. Teacher Minato, please release the spiral fun first. Are you going to use your space-time blood inheritance limit to send my Rasengan to the third rakage? As Namikaze Minato spoke, he already opened his palms and began to condense chakra. The chakra on Namikaze Minato's palm began to expand and spin at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just one breath, a Rasengan the size of an adult's fist appeared on his palm. Although my Rasengan is very powerful, it is said that Third Rakage has the strongest shield, so my Rasengan may not be effective against him. Namikaze Minato said to Yi Yu while maintaining Rasengan. Rasengan simply applies chakras form changes to ultimate. You don't even need to tie the seal. Mangekyo Sharingan has always been turned on, and Yi Yu can see the entire process of Namikaze Minato's Rasengan in detail. In just a moment, he copied Namikaze Minato's Rasengan. Ordinary Rasengan is indeed unable to break through the third rakage's defense. As Yi Yu spoke, she spread her palms like Namikaze Minato. The next second, a high-speed rotating Rasengan condensed on his palm at a speed visible to the naked eye. Yi Yu, when did you learn about oysters? Namikaze Minato was surprised and happy to see that Yi Yu could also Rasengan. Uchiha Obito on the side also had his eyes widened. Only Kakashi and Nohara Lin remained unmoved. After all, Kakashi and Nohara Rin met in person at the celebration party for Kakashi's promotion to Jonin, and Yu learned Reikiri just by looking at Kakashi releasing Reikiri. Now, it is no longer surprising to them that Yu learned Rasengan after taking one look at Namikaze Minato's Rasengan. Yu just smiled without speaking, then he cancelled the Rasengan in his hand, stopped running, stabilized his body, and assumed a posture to absorb natural energy. This is, Namikaze Minato saw Yi Yu suddenly stop, and he stopped too. But when he saw Yi Yu assuming a posture to absorb natural energy, despite his character, there was an expression of disbelief on his face. As Jiraiya's personal disciple, Namikaze Minato also followed Jiraiya to Mount Myoboku to learn Senjutsu. Therefore, he recognized Yi Yu's posture at a glance as Mount Myoboku's posture before absorbing natural energy and entering sage mode. What shocked Namikaze Minato was not the Yohane Society sage mode. After all, he already knew from Jiraiya's mouth that Fukusaku from Mount Myoboku came to Konoha to pick up Yi Yu to practice at Mount Myoboku. What shocked him was how quickly Yi Yu practiced sage mode. Isn't this kid too talented? He went to Mount Myoboku for only a few days and learned to enter sage mode alone. How difficult is it to enter sage mode? Namikaze Minato experienced it firsthand. He spent a lot of time learning to enter sage mode. As a result, I only learned half-heartedly. His master, Jiraiya, spent a lot of time learning sage mode, and ended up needing the assistance of Shima and Fukusaku to maintain sage mode. And now, just a few days after Yi Yu went to Mount Myoboku, Yi Yu was able to enter sage mode independently. Comparing these three things, Namikaze Minato was not surprised. This kid Yi Yu is probably even more talented than I thought. Namikaze Minato had already regarded Yi Yu as a genius two years ago. But now, Namikaze Minato knows that he still underestimated Yi Yu. While Namikaze Minato was shocked, Yi Yu had already absorbed a large amount of natural energy and successfully entered sage mode. Quote dot 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 quote. Yi Yu from sage mode opened his eyes and raised his arms without any hesitation. Sage art, massive Rasengan. Under the ghostly gazes of Kakashi, Uchiha Obito and others, the originally fist-sized Rasengan on Yi Yu's palms instantly expanded dozens of times, turning into a super large Rasengan that was several times larger than Yi Yu himself. When Namikaze Minato saw this scene, his eyes were filled with brilliance. After all, he created Rasengan. Now that he saw that Yi Yu had made the Rasengan he created so big, he was inevitably agitated. Sage Art, Massive Rasengan As Yi Yu continued to inject chakra into Rasengan, Rasengan instantly expanded dozens of times. Immediately afterwards, violent thunder appeared on Yi Yu's palms. Soon, the huge Rasengan was covered by thunder and lightning, and the entire Rasengan also bloomed with dazzling snow light. Railgun Yi Yu used massive Rasengan as a cannonball and used super electromagnetic cannon. The next moment, the huge massive Rasengan, dragging a long tail flame, was like a huge beam of light, 
sweeping towards the Chinese army camp where third rakage was located at an astonishing speed. Call out! Wherever the huge beam of light passed, the forest trees and hills were all turned into powder. And on the ground, there was also a long ravine that stretched for an unknown distance. To be able to launch such a big Rasengan, it's like a tailed beast releasing a tailed beast bomb. Namikaze Minato looked at the scene in front of him and said with emotion. Rasengan was created by him based on the tailed beast's tailed beast bullet. But now, Yi Yu fired the huge Rasengan like a tailed beast releasing a tailed beast bomb. At this moment, Namikaze Minato admired Yi Yu's imagination. This was a path he never envisioned. The super electromagnetic spiral cannon had not even reached Cloud Shinobi, but it had surprised Konoha. Sarutobi Hiruzen, wearing black armor and a helmet, was at the forefront of the Konoha army rushing towards the border of the Land of Fire together with his guards. Suddenly, a huge beam of light whizzed past them. The trajectory of the projectile was only two feet away from them. They could clearly feel the huge wind pressure generated when the light beam roared past. Protect Hokage-sama. This sudden scene startled the guards. They quickly moved out of the way to protect Serutobi Hiruzen. Serutobi Hiruzen was still young and strong at this time, and his reactions were quite fast. He first summoned the ape demon, and then turned the ape demon into a Rui golden cudgel. The whole process was done in one go. Serutobi Hiruzen, holding the wishful golden hoop, stared at the surroundings with a vigilant expression. But the imagined enemy attack never arrived, so he relaxed a little and asked aloud. What happened? A ninja from the Hyuga family immediately opened his Byakugan. Roll your eyes. He followed the long trajectory on the ground and looked toward the back. Soon, he saw Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato's group at the end of the trajectory. Hokage-sama, it's Minato Senpei and Yi Yu. The ninjas of the Hyuga clan immediately reported what they saw to Serutobi Hiruzen. Ha! Huh. Could it be that Yi Yu is studying some new ninjutsu again? Serutobi Hiruzen breathed a sigh of relief, with a look of helplessness on his face. Super electromagnetic gun, during the flight, the speed is getting faster and faster. The corresponding power will also become greater and greater. When the super electromagnetic spiral cannon crossed the Konoha army, the tail flame behind the huge Rasengan became longer. When Rasengan was flying, blurry afterimages appeared due to its speed. Soon, the huge Rasengan came to the lake. As Rasengan roared past, the lake water was squeezed and two involute waves appeared. Call out! But in the blink of an eye, Rasengan crossed the lake and rushed straight to the ninja camp like a shooting star. No, there is a huge chakra flying towards this direction at an alarming speed. The perceptive ninjas at Cloud Shinobi quickly sensed the approaching super electromagnetic spiral cannon. Disperse! Toshiro also noticed a beam of light in the distant sky, rushing towards this side. He shouted urgently without any hesitation. It's just that the speed of the spiral cannon is really lacking. Almost in the blink of an eye. Most of the ninjas didn't have time to react. The huge cannonball had already bombarded us. Although the Rasengan is modeled after the tailed beast bullet. But it's not a real tailed beast bomb. After he hit the target, there was no explosion. But after electromagnetic acceleration, massive Rasengan has huge kinetic energy. The damage caused by this kinetic energy alone is no less than that of a meteorite falling from the sky of the same size, point zero. Boom! Accompanied by a shocking loud noise, a large number of rock fragments rose into the sky like ocean waves. Suddenly, the Chinese army commander's camp where Cloud Shinobi was located was covered in smoke and dust. That direction is the fourth rakage who had entered the Kingdom of Fire noticed a huge movement coming from the direction of the Chinese army commander's camp, and his expression suddenly changed. Withdraw, fourth rakage, glanced in the direction of the fire country, and then glanced at the smoke and dust rising into the sky. He gritted his teeth and finally chose to retreat. Killer B and other cloud shinobi followed the fourth rakage, and rushed towards the direction of the Chinese army commander's camp. A few minutes later, fourth rakage, and others arrived at the location of the Chinese army commander's camp. I saw that the original camp had disappeared. Instead, there was an extremely huge pit. Seeing this scene in front of him, Fourth Rakage, was filled with jealousy. In the central army commander's camp, there were not only Toshiro and a dozen other Cloud Shinobi village elites, but also his father, Third Rakage. 
its lord Tashiro's protective jade. A cloud shinobi who came back with fourth rakage noticed an orange protective film at the bottom of the pit. He immediately jumped into the pit and started pulling. Soon, he dug out a bloody suit of clothes and a hat from the tattered lava-style protective film. This is Tashiro's clothes and hat. Their military advisor Dashiro died. Don't worry, that guy eyes life is very hard, even my tailed beast bomb can't hurt him, that guy will be fine for sure. Just when Killer B and the others fell into sadness, Eight Tails and Killer B's body suddenly spoke. Not long after Eight Tails finished speaking, Third Rakage, whose whole body was flashing with lightning, and unharmed, slowly walked over from another direction. Lord Rakage, seeing the Third Rakage, all the Cloud Shinobi led by the Fourth Rakage, were all happy. The reason why Third Rakage was unscathed was not because of his speed or his strong defense. But before the electromagnetic spiral cannon landed, in the original drama, the one who teleported the fourth rakage and Tsunade to Uchiha Madara in the dirt, Azabuit used the unsent technique and the third rakage teleported away. The Konoha army is not particularly far from the Cloud Shinobi Central Army camp. The huge noise caused by the super electromagnetic spiral cannon naturally attracted the attention of Konoha. Master Hokage, the huge beam of light that just passed by us hit the Cloud Shinobi village camp. The Hayuga ninja who opened his Byakugan looked at the huge smoke in the distance and reported excitedly to Serutobi Hirazan. Hearing this, Serutobi Hirazan and the guards all showed happy expressions. They already knew that the huge light beam just now was Yi Yu's handiwork. And now the Cloud Shinobi camp was hit by the huge light beam again. Obviously, this is Yi Yu attacking the Cloud Shinobi camp. Before the official battle, Yi Yu gave us a surprise. Quickly check to see if Rakage is in the camp and whether he has been killed. If Rakage is killed directly, this war will be over before it even begins. Before Serutobi Hirazan could speak, a guard happily said to the Hayuga family ninja. Um, the distance is beyond the observation range of my white eyes, so I don't know the specific situation. The Hayuga family ninja said. Yi Yu will not attack that place for no reason, just to find a bed for Yi Yu. Serutobi Hirazan said, Yes, after taking the order, a guard disappeared instantly. Behind the Konoha army, Namikaze Minato squatted down, with his right hands pressed together on the ground. He is performing precise perception, and second Hokage often uses this method of perception. Not long after, Namikaze Minato stood up and said, Rekage's chakra has not disappeared, Rekage has not been killed, it seems that this war will still be fought. Namikaze Minato also believed that if Yi Yu killed the third Rakage with, one shot, just now, the war that has not yet begun would be over. But Yi Yu was noncommittal. In the original drama, the third Rakage died after fighting the 10,000 Rock Shinobi, and the fourth Rakage succeeded to the throne. After fourth Rakage succeeded to the throne, not only did he not end the war, but he intensified the expansion of the war. This means that even if Yi Yu's shot just now killed Third Rakage, this war will still have to be fought. If you don't kill it, then you won't kill it. Anyway, I'm just testing new tricks. Yi Yu said nonchalantly. What's the name of your move? Namikaze Minato asked Yi Yu with great interest. After all, Yi Yu's super electromagnetic spiral cannon is based on his Rasengan. Seeing that Namikaze Minato was eager to try and seemed to be preparing to name this move, Yi Yu hurriedly said, Super Electromagnetic Spiral Cannon. Namikaze Minato came up with the name. Guaranteed, he can give you a famous minister similar to the Spiral Flashing Rolling Dance Ginseng style. Yi Yu thinks the name Super Electromagnetic Spiral Cannon is a good one. Super Electromagnetic Spiral Cannon, it's okay. Namikaze Minato said silently. Call out. While Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato were talking, Hokage's guards jumped in front of the native. Minato. He first said hello to Namikaze Minato, and then said to Yi Yu, Yi Yu, Master Hokage asked you to come over. Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato looked at each other. They all knew that third Hokage must want to ask about the situation of the shot just now. Dot dot. Just when Konoha and Cloud Shinobi were about to fight, no one noticed that there was an eye watching everything on the trunk of the big tree. The owner of these eyes is none other than White Zetsu. The war has finally begun. We must report to Madara-sama immediately. White Zetsu muttered to himself, 
and then used the mayfly technique to rush towards the mountain cemetery where Uchiha Madara was. Mayfly technique is a stealth technique unique to White Zetsu. It's very fast. During the Fourth Ninja War, White Zetsu used the mayfly technique to transmit information. Not long after, White Zetsu returned to the cave where Uchiha Madara was. I saw the white-haired Uchiha Madara sitting on the stone bed under Ghetto Statue, motionless as when Yu came over two years ago. Madara-sama, Konoha and Cloud Shinobi village have begun to fight each other. Most of White Zetsu's body was under the ground, with only half of his head exposed, reporting to Uchiha Madara. Soon, Uchiha's voice sounded in the cave, everything is going according to plan. Learn, White Zetsu grinned and said, and then the exposed half of his head sank into the ground. As White Zetsu left, the entire cave fell into eternal silence again. From beginning to end, Uchiha Madara didn't even raise an eyelid. In the original drama, the third ninja war can be said to be very chaotic. Cloud Shinobi fights Sand Shinobi, Cloud Shinobi fights Konoha, Cloud Shinobi fights Rock Shinobi. Rock Shinobi fights Konoha, Konoha fights Mist Shinobi. Such a chaotic situation is caused by the original hatred between the five major countries. Naturally, the participation of the sixth party is indispensable. This sixth party is Uchiha Madara. A war breaks out between Konoha village and Cloud Shinobi village. Cloud Shinobi village did not clamor for Konoha to hand over the second tail. Konoha did not question Cloud Shinobi as to why he invaded Konoha. After all, there has been a strong hatred between Konoha and Cloud Shinobi village since the second Hokage died at the hands of Cloud Shinobi. The second ninja war made this hatred even deeper. When the ninjas from both sides met, they just went to work without saying a word. On the first day of the war, the situation was quite tragic. There were many ninja casualties on both sides. Konoha, big whirlwind. After Might Guy kicked a Cloud Shinobi away, he came to Shiranui Genma's side, back to back with Shiranui Genma, staring at the surroundings with a vigilant expression. Shiranui Genma, who held a Sanban needle in his mouth, held a short sword in his hand, moved his feet, and rushed towards a Cloud Shinobi in front of him. Ding! Soon, the short sword in Shiranui Genma's hand collided with Cloud Shinobi's short sword. Puff! Shiranui Genma took the opportunity to spit out the Sanban needle in his mouth and hit the opponent's door directly. Cloud Shinobi has long noticed the Sanban needle in Shiranui Genma's mouth and has always been on guard against it. Seeing that Shiranui Genma wanted to make a surprise attack, he sneered disdainfully and tilted his head to avoid the attacking Sanban needle. At the same time, he relied on the huge height difference to kick the short-handed and short-legged Shiranui Genma away. Genjian, Might Guy saw this and shouted. He wanted to help, but another Cloud Shinobi stood in front of Might Guy. Just when the Cloud Shinobi who knocked Shiranui Genma away was about to take the opportunity to finish Shiranui Genma, the figure of, Yi, Yu appeared behind the opponent like a ghost. Yo Yu, patted Cloud Shinobi on the shoulder as if greeting an old friend. Before Cloud Shinobi could react, he was transferred to Kagaya's different space by, Yu Yu, using space movement. In order to maximize the proficiency of reply earlier, we upgraded optimization and deterioration. Yi Yu has been hunting down enemies on the battlefield. He didn't kill most of the enemies he encountered, and all of them were sent alive to Kagaya's different space. Initial ball space. In an open space, dozens of crosses were lined up. Tied to each cross is a cloud shinobi. In front of each cloud shinobi, there are two shadow clone of Yi Yu. These two shadow clone, one of them, shadow clone, was holding a short sword, slashing one after another, constantly attacking Cloud Shinobi in front of him. This scene is very similar to the Tsukuyomi that Uchiha Itachi performed on Kakashi. However, this is not Tsukuyomi. But reality, when Shadow Clone stabbed Cloud Shinobi, another Shadow Clone used reply over and over again to restore Cloud Shinobi's injuries. Laugh. With one blow, a wound appeared on Cloud Shinobi's body, and blood flowed out. With one reply, Cloud Shinobi's wounds quickly recovered as before. What, you ask, why didn't Cloud Shinobi scream? Why didn't he curse? In fact, every Cloud Shinobi who has just come in will scream when being stabbed, and will curse after being recovered. But after tens of thousands of times, each of them seemed to have been hit by Tsukuyomi, feeling numb and depressed. 
The Big Cat Away has been released from the hypergravity space by Yi Yu. At this time, she was being arranged aside by Yi Yu and forced to watch dozens of Tsukuyomi scenes. Although those knives were stabbed at Cloud Shinobi's body, but every time the sound of a knife entering flesh was heard in the air, the big cat's mind could not help but tremble. She was worried that this terrible human being would use this trick against her. Just imagine that you are imprisoned in a hypergravity space, unable to move, surrounded by dozens of human shadow clones, stabbing you again and again. Ten days and a half, she was confident that she could hold on. Thinking of this, even though she was a tailed beast, she shuddered a little. The big cat peeked at Yi Yu's body with his eyes. I saw only Yi Yu's true body, looking at dozens of real-life versions of Tsukuyomi in front of me, with an extremely happy expression on his face. If it weren't for this world, there would be no word devil. At this time, or Wei will definitely curse, this person is a devil. A human, performing a real-life version of Tsukuyomi on a group of humans. Moreover, this human being is very happy to watch. This is not a devil, what is a devil? How did Erwei know that Yi Yu was not watching the real version of reading at all? He kept his eyes on the system panel. The pleasant smile on his face Qian Li Hao is not because of the real life Tsukuyomi. It's the ever increasing reply proficiency on the system panel. Ding, congratulations host reply proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations. Host reply proficiency plus one. Soon, the recovery proficiency will be maxed out. As long as the recovery is upgraded, you can get wood style. Yi Yu thought to himself. Seemingly sensing the big cat's fear, Yi Yu suddenly withdrew his gaze from the system panel, looked at the big cat with a kind face, and said with a smile, Don't worry, as long as you are obedient, I won't use this trick on you. Of. Seeing Yi Yu's devilish smile, the cat's two tails stood up instantly. I believe you, you are a very bad human being. When big countries go to war, the worst sufferers are often the small countries around them. During the battle between Konoha village and Cloud Shinobi village, the territory of Tiano country and Yuno country could be described as a state of chaos. Run quickly, Konoha and Cloud Shinobi are coming. An ordinary citizen of Tang country, while running away in a hurry, did not forget to shout loudly. When the residents in the surrounding houses heard the shouts, they packed their bags and fled. They don't care about the sentence. Konoha and Cloud Shinobi can't fight, whether Konoha and Cloud Shinobi fight each other, or Konoha and Cloud Shinobi join forces to fight. Anyway, for the people of a small country like them, the result is the same. Bye, go quickly. A mother with a thin face and yellow muscles, holding a child of about three years old, fled in a hurry with the refugees. The child named Bai is so thin and small that it is difficult for him to stand 100 straight, let alone run. He struggled to run with his mother, gasping for air as he ran. Suddenly, he fell and fell into a coma. Yi Yu, Gai, look, there is a child here. When Bai regained consciousness, there was a faint voice in his ears. Then, he opened his eyes in a daze and saw a face very close to him. Seeing this face with a pot head and thick eyebrows, Bai was so frightened that he kicked his legs wildly and backed away. Guy, you scared him. I wanted to see if he was still alive. The three people who appeared in Shiro's field of vision were naturally Yi Yu, Might Guy, and Shiranui Genma. The three Might Guys were not the first to discover Bai. Kade other Konoha Shinobi viewers also saw it. It's just that they have seen many such war orphans and it is wartime, so they don't pay attention to them. Might Guy and Shiranui Genma are still young, and it is their first time to participate in such a large-scale war. I saw an unconscious child on the roadside and couldn't help but get close to him. What should we do now? Shiranui Genma looked at Yi Yu and Might Guy with some embarrassment. Before Might Guy could speak, Yi Yu walked up and asked the child, What's your name? Perhaps in the eyes of Might Guy and Shiranui Genma, the child in front of them is just an ordinary orphan. But in Yi Yu's eyes, this child was anything but ordinary. In order to upgrade Mangekio Sharingan to Eternal Mangekio as soon as possible. His Mangekio Sharingan is always on. In Yi Yu Mangekio Sharingan's field of vision, the body of the child opposite contained not only chakra. Moreover, it is a very special chakra. Yi Yu recognized this special chakra at a glance, it was the blood inheritance limit. 
In other words, in front of me is a three-year-old child who has awakened to the limits of blood inheritance. Excluding the Uchiha and Hyuga clans, there are not many people in the ninja world who have awakened to the realm of blood inheritance. At this moment, Yi Yu's mind saw several blood successor limit holders who matched his age. Crystal Styles Gurren, Ice Releases White, Dead Bone Pulse Kimimaro. Dot. Three-year-old Bai was panicking inside. He huddled in the corner and did not answer Yi Yu's question. It wasn't until Yi Yu handed him a piece of dry food that he cautiously replied, Bai. White. Hearing this name, Yi Yu secretly said, Sure enough. At the same time, in his mind, he immediately recalled the ice escape ninja whose gender caused controversy in the original drama. No matter if Bai was a boy or a girl before, as long as Yi Yu's reply proficiency reaches the full level, then Bai will definitely be a girl. Moreover, Yi Yu also wanted to use her ice escape. This is a real surprise. Originally, Yi Yu's proficiency in reply was just to improve wood style. Unexpectedly, wood style has not been developed yet. An ice escaper was sent over halfway. What is a surprise? This is the surprise. If you have time, bring over Gurren's crystal style and Teru Yoruichi's dead bone pulse. Yi Yu thought to himself, and then said to Might Guy and Shiranui Genma, Genma, Guy, leave this child to me. After saying that, he activated space movement and disappeared into thin air with Bai. The space of the beginning sphere, in front of the Dark Knight Palace. Urwei is like a large cat lying down and sleeping in front of Kegaya's palace. Suddenly, Yi Yu and Bai appeared in front of the big cat. Da Mao, this child will be left to you from now on. Yi Yu didn't care whether the big cat wanted to take care of the child or not. After saying this, he activated space movement and disappeared. Only Da Mao and Bai were left, because they were staring at each other. Hokage Tent Sir Hokage, we have just received intelligence from the front line. Team Miyaki has been attacked by a large number of rock shinobi. Team Miyaki is requesting support. A Konoha shinobi member instantly appeared in front of Serutobi Hirazan and reported in a very fast tone. What? Hearing this, Serutobi Hirazan's expression suddenly changed, and his body suddenly stood up. The war between Konoha and Cloud Shinobi is reaching a stalemate. At this time, rock shinobi, who is also one of the five major countries, came to attack Konoha again. This is quite disadvantageous for Konoha. As Serutobi Hirazan of Hokage, how can he sit still at this time? As the Kingdom of Rock and the Kingdom of Thunder forming an alliance. Yudatain Kaharu, Serutobi Hirazan's former teammate and now Konoha's advisor, also said with an ugly expression. It shouldn't be possible. The Country of Rock and the Country of Thunder have irreconcilable conflicts and it is impossible for them to form an alliance. Another consultant, Mitokado Homura spoke up. Now is not the time to discuss this, Rock Shinobi has already launched an attack on us. Serutobi Hirazan glanced at Yudatain Kaharu and Mitokado Homura, and then said to Yamanaka Haichi, who had been staying in the camp, Haichi, inform Minato and Yu, and ask them to immediately support the Miyaki team and resist Rock Shinobi. Yes, as soon as Yamanaka Hai received the order, he immediately used the secret technique of the Yamanaka clan and started long-distance communication. Minato, Yi Yu, this is the command headquarters. I just received information that Team Maiwan was attacked by Rock Shinobi at XXX. The two of you rushed over immediately to provide support. Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato, who were on the battlefield, received a message from Yamanaka Haichi at the same time. Rock Shinobi, at this time. Like Serutobi Hirazan and others, Namikaze Minato's face became very solemn when he heard that Rock Shinobi also joined the war. On the contrary, Yi Yu showed no expression on his face when he received the message from Yamanaka Haiyi. After all, he had long known that this war was the third ninja war. Iwagakur joining this war was expected. In addition, the split body lurking in Iwagakur notified Yi Yu a few days ago that Iwagakur would join this war. Just when Yi Yu was about to rush to the location of the Biju team, Namikaze Minato said to Yamanaka Haiichi. Haiyi, there is still a small group of enemies on my side that I have not dealt with. In addition, Yi Yu's blood limit is very restrained by my Flying Thunder God technique. I cannot act with him. I suggest that Yi Yu go alone to support. 
Yi Yu's Blood Successor Limited Restraint Flying Thunder God Technique. Yamanaka Haiichi didn't expect Namikaze Minato to answer like this. He was stunned for a moment and asked hurriedly, What does Yi Yu restrain you from Flying Thunder God Technique mean? Literally, the last time I was near Yu, I couldn't activate the Flying Thunder God technique. This should be a new effect developed by him within the limits of time and space. Namikaze Minato said, Yu's blood inheritance limit actually has such an effect. Yamanaka was surprised, then disconnected the communication, opened his eyes and reported to Sarutobi Hirazan. After all, he is just a communicator, and Hokage is the decision maker. He needs to tell Serutobi Hirazan what Namikaze Minato confessed. Yi Yu's blood succession limit actually has such an effect. Like Yamanaka Hai, Serutobi Hirazan and others were also very surprised when they heard the news. Soon, Serutobi Hirazan made a decision, then let Yi Yu alone support. Yes, soon, Yamanaka Hai Yi sent another communication to Yi Yu and Namikaze Minato. Yi Yu, Minato said, your blood succession limit restrains his flying thunder god technique, so this support can only be done by one person. Yi Yu, after ending the communication with Yamanaka Hai Yi, Yi Yu activated Splitting Void. The next moment, the grass pheasant sword placed in the Splitting Void space by Yi Yu was released. During the whole process, the grass pheasant sword seemed to emerge from the void. If he wasn't worried about being too pretentious, Yi Yu could have just said, Come with the sword. Rise, Yi Yu made a habitual starting gesture, then jumped up and stepped on the flying sword. Call out, I saw Yi Yu riding on the wind, walking with his sword, and flying towards the battlefield of Konoha and Rock Shinobi at an astonishing speed. Boom boom boom. Before Yi Yu actually arrived at the battlefield, a series of violent explosions were heard in the air. Looking from the sky, a spot on the ground ahead was filled with smoke and dust, and radiated with fire. Is it there? Yi Yu looked at the location of the explosion, his mind moved, and Yu Jian flew over. Yi Yuren has not yet arrived, but his terrifying chakra is as dazzling as the sun in the eyes of the perceptive ninja. After Yi Yu approached a certain range of the battlefield, he was discovered by the perceptive ninja in the Rock Shinobi army. This, this is, Rock Shinobi sensing ninja sensed Yi Yu's terrifying chakra, as if he had seen a ghost, with sweat on his forehead and an ugly face. What happened? Enemy reinforcements are coming. Another rock shinobi asked aloud when he saw his companion's face was so ugly. What a scary chakra. The rock shinobi sentient ninja murmured to himself, and then hurriedly reminded all the rock shinobi, there is a huge chakra comparable to a tailed beast, heading this way. No, he has already coming. Rock shinobi's sentient ninja suddenly changed his mind and looked up at the sky. The other rock shinobi also followed each other's gaze. I saw a sword light roaring from the sky in the distance. Soon, one person and one sword stopped steadily in midair. Looking at this scene in front of them, all the rock shinobi looked stunned. Flying in the sky on a sword. What is this operation? The rock shinobi have seen the world. After all, the second Tsuchikage and third Tsuchikage in their village contemporarily float in the sky with the help of earth style, light and heavy rock technique. But now, Someone was flying quickly on a sword. They have never seen such an operation. Yi Yu, yes Yi Yu is here. All the Konoha Shinobi members of Team Maiwan cheered when they saw Yohan approaching with a sword in the sky. After the self-destruction outside Konoha village and the cannon fire at the border of the Land of Fire, the image of Yu Yu's powerful strength is deeply rooted in the hearts of the people. At present, everyone in the Maiwan team is under siege. At this critical moment, Yi Yu appears in front of them in this way. How can they not be excited? In the sky above the battlefield where Konoha and Iwagakur were, Yi Yu stood in the air with a flying sword on his feet. At this moment, the originally extremely, lively, battlefield seemed very quiet. Both Rock Shinobi and Konoha Shinobi stopped attacking at this moment and looked up at Yi Yu in the sky. It's the reinforcements from Konoha. Is there any way to take this guy down? A Rock Shinobi spoke up. No, it's too high. While Rock Shinobi was speaking, Yi Yu, who was in the sky, glanced at the battlefield and memorized the locations of all Rock Shinobi. Immediately afterwards, Yi Yu put his fingers together and pointed at the Rock Shinobi below. Go, 
The next moment, the grass pheasant sword under Yi Yu's feet turned into a stream of light and shot towards the rock shinobi pointed by Yi Yu. 290, at the same time, Yi Yu's body also fell freely to the ground below. Not good. Rock Shinobi on the ground saw the sword light coming, and his expression suddenly changed. Without any hesitation, he slapped his palms against the ground. Earth style, earth flow wall. Judging from his posture, it seemed that he planned to use the earth current wall to block Yi Yu's flying sword attack. However, the speed of the flying sword was too terrifying. Before the earth flow wall could rise, the flying sword had already turned into a rainbow and instantly penetrated the body of the rock shinobi. It is enough to brush reply enemies in the initial ball space. If there were more, Yi Yu's chakra would be enough, but he couldn't bear the fatigue value stacked by Shadow Clone. Therefore, Yi Yu had no intention of holding back. The enemy will be completely annihilated as soon as they take action. Boo hoo hoo. After the sword light penetrated the first enemy, it turned into a stream of light under Yi Yu's control, rushing left and right in the enemy formation. Among the rock shinobi in front of me, there are quite a few Jonin. Their strength is extraordinary and their reactions are quite quick. One of them, rock shinobi Jonin, saw the sword light coming, and he instinctively raised the kunai in his hand to block. But what is his kunai made of? What material is Yi Yu's grass pheasant sword made of? When he first forged the pheasant sword, Yi was pursuing something hard. In just an instant, the kunai in the hands of Rock Shinobi Jonin was like tofu and was instantly destroyed by the flying sword. Immediately afterwards, the flying sword passed through his throat without stopping at all. Team Leader The other Rock Shinobi were all horrified when they saw that their captain was killed by Yi Yu as soon as they met. That's their captain, the elite Jonin of the village. To be killed so easily. How could they not be surprised? Boo hoo hoo. After the flying sword killed Captain Rock Shinobi, he shuttled back and forth among the crowd. For a while, screams continued and rain fell. The Rock Shinobi want to block. Want to hide. But all to no avail. That flying sword is like Shinigami's sickle, constantly harvesting Rock Shinobi's life. In just a few breaths, dozens of Rock Shinobi were killed by flying swords. Retreat. Retreat quickly shouted a rock shinobi. But before he finished speaking, a stream of light penetrated his body. Boom, Yi Yu, who was in free fall, landed on the battlefield with a bang. But at this moment, there is no enemy anywhere on the battlefield. On the ground, there were bodies of rock shinobi everywhere. From the moment Yi Yu started to fall freely to the moment Yi Yu's body landed, it only took a few seconds. In just a few seconds, all the menacing rock shinobi were killed. So, so strong, as this Yi Yu's strength. The Mei Wan team hiding behind the bunker watched Yi Yu kill all the enemies like chopping melons and vegetables. They were all surprised and happy. Yi Yu is only 12 years old, right? You are so strong at the age of 12. Just when all the Konoha Shinobi members were marveling at Yi Yu's strength, Yi Yu, who had just landed, seemed to notice something and looked towards the ground somewhere. There are still fish that slipped through the net. When Yi Yu controlled the flying sword to kill Rock Shinobi, three Rock Shinobi took advantage of the chaos and used Earth style to escape and hid under the ground. In the underground space, the three Rock Shinobi were sweating on their foreheads and their hearts were beating wildly, fearing that they would be discovered by the god of death above the ground. Suddenly, a lightning beam pierced the earth and penetrated the body of a Rock Shinobi. Oops, the remaining two Rock Shinobi still don't know where the three of them have been discovered by the god of death, Point zero. They screamed in surprise, and then used earth style to break out of the ground. As soon as they broke out of the ground, they ran away in two different directions as if they had agreed. Go, Yi Yu pointed his finger at one of them in the air, and the grass pheasant sword turned into a stream of light and instantly penetrated that person's body. However, just when Yi Yu was about to kill another person, one of the system prompts in his mind suddenly changed. Ding, congratulations. The host's reply proficiency has reached the full level, and reply has automatically upgraded to cell enhancement. Hearing the system prompt in his mind, Yi Yu suddenly felt happy. The proficiency of replying has finally reached the maximum level. Cell strengthening. Yi Yu subconsciously used the newly upgraded ability on his palm. Buzz. In an instant, Yi Yu's palms were strengthened. It's just a pity that there is no change in appearance after strengthening and before strengthening. However, 
Yu Yu could clearly feel that the strength in his hands had increased a lot. Attack and defense have been greatly enhanced. If you put a layer of black paint on this palm, it will look very much like armament hockey. Yu Yu shook his strengthened palm, complained in his mind, and then looked at Rock Shinobi, who had already escaped for hundreds of meters. Yu Yu activated space movement and his figure disappeared instantly. The next moment, his figure appeared in front of Rock Shinobi who was escaping at high speed. Before the Rock Shinobi had time to react, Yu Yu stretched out his enhanced palm and grabbed the opponent's neck. Positively strengthening cells is optimization. On the other hand, that's deterioration. In an instant, the blood vessels in Rock Shinobi's body shrank dramatically. But blood is being transported in a steady stream. The shrunken blood vessels were burst in an instant. At the moment when Rock Shinobi's body exploded from the inside out, Yu Yu activated space movement and disappeared. The proficiency of reply has reached the full level, and he is going to brush the white ice escape in the initial ball space first. Then go to Konoha and brush Yamato's wood style. As soon as Yu Yu returned to Kegaya Palace, Bai Jiao came over. Mangekyo Sharingan, Yu Yu, who was wearing sunglasses, just glanced at Shiro with Mangekyo Sharingan, and Shiro fainted. The big cat lying on the ground and taking a nap seemed a little curious about what Yi Yu wanted to do. She quietly opened one eye and looked over with her peripheral vision. I saw Yi Yu placing the unconscious Bai Ping on the ground, and then pressed his palms on Bai's body. Cell strengthening, Yi Yu's palm exudes a gleaming green light. Soon, Bai's body underwent earth-shaking changes. After a few seconds, he bit down and retracted his palm. At this moment, Bai's gender has changed. Because Bai is only three years old. In addition, Bai Bai is very beautiful when she grows up. So much so that after transitioning to white, her appearance did not change at all. The big cat looked curious just a second ago. But the next second, she seemed to have discovered something that frightened the cat. She instantly jumped up from the ground, covered in fur, and grinned at Yi Yu. Although viewed from a human perspective, Bai's physical appearance has not changed in any way. But the big cat is not a human, she is a tailed beast. She distinguishes human gender based on a person's chakra, based on factors such as smell. Just now, she clearly saw that Yi Yu had changed the gender of the human child in front of her. Yi Yu had long noticed that the big cat was peeking, but he didn't pay attention. Seeing the big cat reacting so violently, he turned to look at the big cat and said with a surprised look on his face. Why did you react so violently? You tailed beasts have no gender. Indeed, there is no clear gender division among tailed beasts. But for thousands of years, the tailed beasts have lived with different living habits, so that they have cognitive gender. Take eight tails and nine tails for example. Their voices are rough and they are cognitively male. And the second tail is cognitively genderly. Seeing that Yi Yu can change the gender of living things, or Wei was afraid. Don't worry, as long as you are obedient, I won't use this trick on you. Yi Yu once again said these words that were half comforting and half threatening. Before forcing her way to watch the real version of Sukuyomi, Yohan also said the same thing. I have to say, the effect is outstanding. Since then, her way has become much more honest. Seeing that Erwei was so afraid of his ability to change gender, Yi Yu hit Erwei again. Presumably, Erwei will become more honest in the future and become the big caretaker cat. Okay, go out and wait. Don't come in without my instructions. After the big cat left obediently, Yi Yu turned his attention to the unconscious Bai. Just when Yi Yu was about to use spiritual transformation technique to widen the ice escape, he suddenly paused. After casting spiritualization technique, his soul will leave his body. By then, his body will be unable to move. In the past, the reason why he used the spiritual transformation technique without any scruples was because he was the only one in the entire space. And now, there is an extra second tale. Although Erwei was a lot more obedient and honest after some coercion and inducement from him. But there is still the possibility of betrayal. In case his soul enters Shiro's body, or Wei launches an attack on his body. This is a bit dangerous for Yi Yu. Just in case, Yi Yu picked up the unconscious by an activated space movement to disappear into Kegaya Palace. As soon as Yi Yu left, the big cat outside Kegaya's palace noticed it immediately. 
She didn't know that Yi Yu was wary of her, but she was very afraid of Yi Yu. Seeing that Yi Yu was gone, she felt relieved, then lay down and continued to sleep. Yi Yu, who disappeared in Kegaya's palace, came to the ice and snow space in Kegaya's different space in the next moment. Looking around, the whole space is completely white. There is thick ice and white snow everywhere. It's very suitable to practice ice escape here. Yi Yu glanced around and said with great satisfaction. Immediately afterwards, Yi Yu put down the unconscious Bai and used the upgraded version of spiritualization technique. Soon, Yi Yu's soul entered Bai's spiritual world and successfully controlled Bai's body. Bai's body was very weak. As soon as Yi Yu took over, he felt weak. This body is too thin. Yi Yu clenched his fist and sighed. Then he activated cell strengthening, which directly strengthened Bai's whole body. After doing this, Yi Yu began to control Bai's body and began to improve the proficiency of ice escape. It is different from Yuhi Kurinai's perception and illusion, and Uchiha Azumi's Sharingan. Although Bai awakened the ice escape unconsciously. But she is too young, and her development of ice escape is almost zero. It's almost like a piece of ice can be condensed on the palm of your hand. If Yi Yu wants to use Bai's ice escape, he also needs to help Bai develop his ice escape. Developing ice escape is fortunately very simple for me. Yi Yu said something in his heart, then controlled Bai's body and activated ice escape. I saw a piece of ice on the front of Bai's finger. As Yi Yu continued to inject chakra, the ice ballast grew larger at a speed visible to the naked eye. In just a few breaths, the ice ballast changed from the size of a soybean to the size of an adult's fist. After the ice ball became the size of a fist, it began to change forms under Yi Yu's control. I saw only a regular spherical ice ballast, and ice picks began to form on both sides. Soon, an ice pick with sharp ends in the middle condensed and took shape. Ice escape, ice iron cannon technique. Yi Yu has already maxed out the proficiency of the Ghost Lantern Clan's water style, water cannon technique. Now I am following the same example and changing water style. Water Iron Cannon Technique to Ice Release, Ice Iron Cannon Technique. Yi Yu's palm was like a pistol, and the ice pick condensed on his fingertips was fired forward like a bullet from the chamber. Boom, with a loud noise, the ice pick hit an iceberg ahead. Suddenly, a crater appeared on the iceberg, and the ice pick scattered in all directions. At the same time, the mechanical version of the system's prompt sounded in Yi Yu's mind at the right time. Ding! Congratulations to host Experience Ice Escape Proficiency Plus One. Yi Yu ignored the system prompts in his mind and used Ice Escape and Ice Iron Cannon technique again. Bang bang bang. Yi Yu released the Ice Iron Cannon again and again, and a series of loud noises rang out in the ice and snow space that had been silent for a thousand years. As Yi Yu's proficiency increases little by little, the frequency of that bang bang sound is getting higher and higher. At first, it took almost two seconds to hear a loud noise. Later, two loud bangs could be heard in one second. After Yi Yu mastered ice release, ice iron cannon technique, he tried to use both hands to release ice release, ice iron cannon technique. Both guns fired in unison, and the sound of bang 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 was endless. The system prompts also doubled in frequency. Ding, congratulations to host experience ice escape proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations to host experience ice escape proficiency plus one. I feel like I can do this for a day. Yi Yu kept firing ice cones with both hands, and he felt very happy as he watched the proficiency of experience ice escape on the system panel slowly increase. Just when Yi Yu was in ice and snow space, Iwagakur exploded because he killed all the rock shinobi who invaded Konoha. You know, this is Iwagakur's first combat operation in this war. As a result, all the ninjas who went to the Land of Fire were wiped out. For Iwagakur, this not only lost a group of elites, but also affected morale. Iwagakur Conference Room I have long said that we should attack Sunagakur first. Sunagakur Third Case Cage is missing. At this time, the village is in civil strife. It is the best time for us to attack. Konoha and Cloud Shinobi Village, we can sit on the mountain and watch the tiger fight, etc. They both suffer losses and then deal with it together. What's the use of talking about it now? 
None of us expected that Konoha is clearly fighting against Cloud Shinobi Village, but it still has the power to face us. Onoki, Iwagaker's third Tsuchikage, suddenly felt a pain in his head when he heard Iwagaker's senior executives begin to blame others. Dong dong dong. Seeing that the quarrel was getting more and more intense, Onoki hurriedly knocked on the conference table. The senior executives of Rock Shinobi who were arguing hurriedly shut up and looked at Onoki. The troops we sent to investigate have returned, and the bodies that can be recovered have been recovered. This is a preliminary autopsy. You all can take a look. While Onoki was talking, a Rock Shinobi distributed the autopsy report to every Rock Shinobi executive. When these Rock Shinobi executives saw the contents of the report, their faces changed. The autopsy report clearly stated, Preliminary conclusion is that everyone was killed by the same person before they had time to resist. How can this be? So many elites, including Jonan, were killed by the same person with one blow. Even if Hokage of Konoha Village took action himself, it would be impossible for him to do it. When did such a strong guy appear in Konoha? The troops deployed by Rock Shinobi this time are enough to destroy a small country. Originally, these Rock Shinobi executives thought that it was Konoha's elite troops that destroyed their Rock Shinobi. But what they didn't expect was that the person who destroyed their Rock Shinobi group was actually just one person. Moreover, they Rock Shinobi, an elite unit, were helpless in the hands of this man. How could the top management of Rock Shinobi not be surprised? Onoki, who looked ugly, did not speak, but motioned to his subordinates to distribute the autopsy photos to everyone. The contents of the photos are the fatal injuries on the bodies of the deceased. Rock Shinobi executives looked at these photos, all of them had solemn expressions and were silent. Onoki saw that everyone was silent, so he opened his mouth to break Shen. Over the years, our spies in Konoha have also collected some information. Right now, in Konoha Village, there are ninjas in Konoha Village who have the ability to defeat one of our troops by one person. Except for Hokage and Sanin who can do it, the only ones left are Namikaze Minato and Yohain. I've also heard of this Namikaze Minato. He seems to have learned Second Hokage's Flying Thunder God technique. If he also has the speed of Second Hokage, it is indeed possible to defeat one of our troops with one person, but this Yi Yuhu. A rock shinobi executive asked. Onoki seemed to be prepared and asked his subordinates to take out Yi Yu's photo. Yi Yu, wearing a Konoha Jonin uniform, carrying a Kusanagi sword behind her back. This person is Yi Yu, who is 12 years old and Konoha's new genius. After taking the Konoha Chunin exam two years ago, he was promoted to Jonin by Konoha's Hokage. Became a Jonin at the age of 10. If it were an ordinary ninja, he would definitely exclaim when he heard this news. But it is a pity that all the Rock Shinobi executives present are old men like Onoki. Many of them have survived the first generation and second generation era. I experienced the period when a ninja went to war at the age of six. Therefore, it is not surprising that Yu became Jonin at the age of ten. Having been promoted to Jonin by Hokage at the age of ten, does Yohan have any special talents? A Rock Shinobi executive asked. According to the information we have received, Yi Yu has awakened the blood inheritance limit of time and space, and is very powerful. Quote. Onoki replied to the Rock Shinobi executive who asked the question, then scanned the audience and continued. His usual weapon is the sword he carries on his back, and Namikaze Minato's usual weapon is Kanai. Based on the wound comparison, Yi Yu is most likely the person who sabotaged our battle plan. One is Namikaze Minato who can use the second Hokage Flying Thunder God technique. One is Yi Yu who has awakened the blood inheritance limit of time and space. The top management of Rock Shinobi knew that these two people were an obstacle to their attack on Konoha. How should Yohane and Namikaze Minato deal with this? These two are very powerful. If we want to get rid of them, we will probably sacrifice a lot of ninjas. De Jiao Jiao. Sometimes, sacrifice is necessary. No, I don't agree. We can let others deal with these two people. Others, what do you mean? Post a reward. In the original show, Iwagaker often hired the Akatsuki organization to help them handle some things. At present, after some discussion by Rock Shinobi's top management, they plan to use underground organizations like the Akatsuki organization to kill Yu and Namikaze Minato. 
Of course he you didn't know that Iwagaker had offered a high reward to him. Little did he know that a famous bounty hunter would come to his door soon. At this moment, Yi Yu is practicing ice escape while planning to get Yamato's wood style. Ding, congratulations to host experience ice escape proficiency plus one. Ding, congratulations to the host, the proficiency of experience ice escape has reached the full level, experience ice escape will be automatically upgraded to ice escape. In the ice and snow space, Yi Yu, who was constantly releasing the ice iron cannon, heard the sudden change of the system prompt in his mind. He suddenly felt happy, and immediately controlled, by, S body to stop releasing the ice iron cannon, and unlock the upgraded version of, spiritual technique, and your soul returns to your body. Ice escape, I finally got it. Opening his eyes, Yi Yu looked at the sudden addition of, ice escape, on the blood succession limit bar on the system panel, and a satisfied smile appeared on Yi Yu's face. In the original drama, Ice Escape did not perform particularly well. It is also the blood inheritance limit, not to mention first Hokage's wood style, even Gurren's crystal style, both are much more popular than Bai's ice release. The reason why Yi Yu couldn't wait to use Ice Escape. The main reason is still because of the potential of Ice Escape. The three-star dragon in, Dragon Ball, froze a metropolis in an instant. The young admiral in, one piece, can freeze the sea between several islands into land with his Ice Age move. Ordinary Ice Escape is indeed not very strong. But Yi Yu can upgrade Ice Escape by continuously improving the proficiency of Ice Escape. Yi Yu is confident that he can freeze thousands of miles in an instant in the future. Multiple Shadow Clone Technique Yi Yu was full of expectations for the upgraded Ice Escape and without any hesitation, he immediately used Multiple Shadow Clone Technique. Bang bang bang. As soon as dozens of shadow clone appeared, they began to release ice release, ice iron cannon technique. Suddenly, the ice and snow space resounded with a continuous sound of ice cubes colliding. In Yi Yu's mind, the sound of water style proficiency plus one continued to sound. If the proficiency of ice escape continues to increase at this rate, it will take at least 10 days and a half to reach it. Yi Yu glanced at the ice escape proficiency progress bar that was starting to grow on the system panel, and he began to make calculations in his mind. In the end, Yi Yu decided to let the shadow clone master their ice escape proficiency in the ice and snow space, while his main body returned to Konoha and acquired Yamato's wood style. Konoha, the root headquarters. In a vast underground training room, two children were fighting each other. Yes, that's right, it's a real fight. Both of them were fighting with the intention of killing each other. One of these two children is the Yamato Yi Yu is looking for. Yamato was only nine years old at this time. Ever since he was discovered by Danzo, he has been training and fighting in this underground world. Wood style, big wood technique. Yamato raised his right arm and swung it forward. In the next second, his entire right arm turned into thick wooden bars and swept towards the child opposite. Facing wood style, the kid didn't dare to show any s lightness. He moved his feet, turned instantly, and rushed towards Yamato. But before the child could rush far away, one of the wooden bars, under Yamato's control, turned a corner and plunged straight into his head, just like a living thing. What? The child was suddenly startled and hurriedly backed away. Boom! With a loud noise, the wooden bar that plunged straight down crashed to the ground. If the way forward is blocked, the child is ready to go around. But just as he turned left, a wooden stick fell from the sky, blocking the road to his left. He prepared to turn right again. The road on the right is also blocked by a wooden stick. Boom boom boom. Soon, the child's front, back, left and right were all blocked by wooden bars, forming a closed wooden prison. F. The child had no way to escape and was desperate for a moment. He was about to ask Yamato to let him go. But during this period, Yamato was completely a killing machine trained by Danzo, never giving the opponent a chance to beg for mercy. A few wooden thorns rushed into the wooden prison and killed the opponent in an instant. That's right, Tianzang, your strength has improved again. CACG, an adult member of the Roots wearing a mask had been standing on the edge of the field, watching the fight. Seeing Yamato kill his opponent, he immediately started Pua Yamato. Before he could finish his words, applause burst out in the room. Dot dot dot. This sudden applause made the root member startled. 
who, you know, Yamato has always been Donzo's secret weapon. No one can come to this place without Donzo's order. But now, the applause of another person rang out in this training ground. Members of the Root, how can you not be surprised? Soon, under the gaze of the Root members and Yamato, a figure slowly walked out of the darkness. After seeing the other party's appearance clearly, the expression of that member of the Root suddenly changed. It's you. At this time, the person who appeared in front of Yamato was naturally Yi Yu. Yi Yu did not wear Anbu's mask, nor did he use the transformation technique to change his appearance. Instead, he came directly to Yamato in his original appearance. It's not surprising that the other party can recognize Yi Yu. Yi Yu ignored the member of the root, but continued to applaud sparingly. He looked at Yamato, who was younger than himself, and said, as expected, you have inherited the cells of the first Hokage. It's really a good ability. After hearing Yi Yu's words, Yamato had no reaction. On the contrary, the member of the root immediately took action against Yi Yu. Yamato is Danzo's secret weapon. Danzo has long confessed that if the news of Yamato's wood style leaks out, then he, the supervisor, will be dead. Tianzang, kill him. While the members of Gen rushed towards Yi Yu, they did not forget to give orders to Yamato. Yamato was also quite obedient and immediately launched an attack on Yi. Wood style, thorn killing technique. As Yamato quickly made a hand seal with both hands, a wooden stake was about to break out of the ground under Yi Yu's feet and tie Yi Yu up. But just when the wooden pile broke through the ground, a thick layer of ice suddenly appeared on the ground under Yi Yu's feet. Boom, the wooden pile that had just broken out of the soil hit the thick ice. Ice, seeing the ice at Yi Yu's feet, the expressions of the members of the root changed. However, he had already rushed behind Yi Yu and took advantage of the situation with a knife. Mangekyo Sharingan, Yi Yu suddenly turned his head and glanced at the other party. The opponent's whole body felt as if he was struck by lightning, his heart jumped suddenly, and he was stunned, and he kept raising his sword to strike. Soon, the ice began to spread upward from the feet of the root members. After a few breaths, the members of the root were frozen into ice sculptures. Sigh, the proficiency of ice release is not too low. If the ice release is at full level, there is no need to use Mangekyo Sharingan, and the opponent can be frozen in an instant. Yi Yu glanced at the ice sculpture, and then set his sights on Yamato again. Yamato, come with me. What Yamato? My name is not Yamato, my name is Tenzo. As Yamato spoke, he launched another attack on Yi Yu. No, you are Yamato. I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.